more ways of gaming tonight because uh, this deck is cool and I want to keep playing it. Um, and I'm a little disappointed how the last tournament ended, so we're going to actually win tonight. And in order to achieve that, I'm playing in a smaller tournament. Um, I also feel like the prizing is better, kind of. And um, yeah, I don't necessarily feel like staying up till 11 tonight, but if it's like till 10, that, that, that might be okay. So let's just win this smaller tournament. Um, slightly a different list stuff, yes, but it's it's uh, still Wiggly Tough Gaming. Uh, does it beat Quacker Ball Lost Box? Probably not. That deck is way too broken. Uh, so yeah, this for every reason this tournament has like pretty decent prizing. I mean, it's just kind of random, I guess. Like <laughs> PSA nine Pommy slab. I guess who wants that? But um, what I kind of like about it though is it's top cut. Like the one thing about the other Monday night tournament is there's no top cut. It's just Swiss round, which is kind of cringe. Um. And on the flip side, like, if we start off pretty badly, like, we, uh, get totally cooked in, like, a couple rounds here, we can hop over to the other one here in an hour, so. All is well. Hopefully. Or maybe this tournament just doesn't start and we end up playing ladder for an hour and, uh, playing the other one. Either way, we're doing a tournament today. Regardless, it's happening. Maybe. <laughs> but I'm kind of surprised that this one's not bigger. It's... Sort of funny, like the tournaments that have the best rewards don't always get the most amount of people playing. The real one to do though was the one this afternoon had 231 people. Um, so we'll have to look at that because no one guard of enjoy Matus won it, so we're gonna have to look at that. Um, maybe that's also because like it's the earlier tournaments the European people are, are playing it. Maybe that's the uh, that's the sauce. Um, Dang, this is kind of awkward. Usually the tournament start right when the stream starts. Or a couple minutes past. I'm not amused. <laughs> oh no. That's right. I guess I could show the um, elite gaming list that, that we're playing today. Uh, sure, we could do that. Uh, we do this. It's like the same thing. We have, we have, we have Cleffa in here now. You're playing Block today? I didn't see you got... Top eight in redacted yesterday, so big congrats, boys again. <coughs> ah, can't play from one till six a.m. You miss switching this deck? Oh, in a control? Yeah, you do sometimes miss it because like you can't, you can't like yeah, lux rate the same turn. If you play like an Arvin, you gotta penny it up. I mean, it looked, looked like a pretty tough matchup. Like, wasn't it like future or no? Um, you it was featured without switches, so like that matchup seems like it wouldn't be that bad. But I guess they have psychic energies, so that could, that, that could be kind of tricky. But yes, <laughs> when the tournament starts, because there have been times. There was one stream that 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 we did, and the tournament just got straight up canceled, and that sucked. Like we had. So we had to play like ladder for a couple hours. I really hope that doesn't happen. Everyone knows ladder is cringe. So you, you you lost because you flipped tails on all, on all your hammers. <laughs> Sounds like hammers. Oops. That's <laughs> I've done that before. There was I uh, yeah I've done that before too. We use autopilot and save first, and yeah. I'm saying hopefully like they're not just like ah oh, there's other other tournaments tonight we uh, we we cancel. Yeah, thank you, Steven. Um, I guess maybe we we look and see what's doing well at the other tournament while we're waiting for this thing to load. Yeah, I want to cook some gouging fire. This deck is kind of cracked, and there's a bird. It's a wiggly tough bird. Wow, I want to know. You'll love to see it. Oh, there's a few birds tonight. That was the wrong thing. They might have tied into each other. They did. Two, two out of three on Wibbly Tough. Pretty good. What did I change from the list? Um, I took out the second Wibbly Tough. I took out 
an Ultra Ball. I took out an Artisan. We put in Cape, we put in Cleffa, and we put in Rescue Board. Um, because these, the Rise of a Tomb is very, very concerning. Because almost every single Lost Box deck, Tino or like really any Comfy deck is playing Spirit Tomb. So you kind of want to have a different game plan going into that. And also finding and testing that like when you open a hands, we've just Arvin, no other ball search cards. Now that we're playing like Poffin, we could go Arvin for Poffin for Pidgey, Cleffa, and board, and then board back into the Cleffa and draw cards. Now that Rads are in the list, you don't always miss um, the second wave stuff. Poof, that card is so bad. It kind of is. There we go. Round is, is up. Ah, uh, Mirror. I should have kept the Poof once. Oh, this is. They're playing Trimmer as well. I'm blaming I'm I'm blaming you guys. I should have kept Buffalo. It's all it's it's for some reason it's all Emma's fault. Okay. Well <laughs> rip. They're, they're playing one Silene, one Yelcher, two pad. They deserve to have those cards prized. Clef is kind of gas. Wait, what why is checking that why are the round timers this long? Why is checking this long? Huh? What? Why is it four, four thousand minutes until check-ins over? I'm confused. All right, whatever. You type with Pidgeot and kill the fish. That's that. That's the move, actually. I guess they can't really get it back that easily. I guess you're probably right. They, they, they may just be a, a, April Fool's Inc. Which is kind of cringe. Did it say that in the... No, it says 33 minute per round. So I wonder if they're just having issues. Or, or they could be trolling. We don't really know. Yeah, no, I guess we're not tying. There's going to be no, no worry about slow play today. Um... Right, well, we will remember that then. The, the, uh, killing the uh, she used the move. Okay. Well, now I know. I would not have done it that way. I would have just tried to chief first, but that makes sense because they really can't get it back, or it takes them a ton of turns to get it back. Um. And by that time, you can pr probably chi you away too many good cards. All right. That makes a, t a ton of sense. Um. Seems good. <laughs> it's great to have smarter people than me in chat to tell me what to do. Wait, what the heck? They screwed up the check-in time. So, like... What? This turn is off to a wonderful start. This is... Okay, I'm sure there's a ton of no-shows. Yeah. But Amy, are I scared? Now we're doing a tournament, bro. Calm down. Eight energy, two rods, switch, Turo, and Minior. Somehow, there all those cards are in there. And it's still free. That's the funny part. <laughs> yeah, we gotta see this list. Yeah, they're still playing. I think I said Devo and Prime Catcher as well. But only like one vac and the 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 the, the better charmeleon so <laughs> it's got all your favorite pokemon in it but yeah it is very hard to play third stream in a row the good old days are back i guess no stream tomorrow i hate to i'm gonna wreck the streak but yeah literally thought like you can play all i mean i guess they would probably beat stall right they would definitely beat stall I would hope that they would not beat stall. Or hope that, that, that they would beat stall. But like... Yeah, it's funny. They play all these cards and they still don't beat control. I did it for someone who played the uh, the 70 damage Charmeleon, double vac, and lost city. That was kind of scary. Um, but yeah, this... <laughs> They're doing all this and it still doesn't. I, I guess like Airy Devo could be kind of scary, but even that, like, Mimic Q still goes crazy. April Fools, you don't exist. Really? Dang. 
Like, I'm going to see if... That was so weird. I don't know. If you're going to commit that many cards in, into your deck, uh, yeah. That is a great question. Because, like, you could cut the mini or that's a slot. Honestly, you, are, you could cut, like, mini or switch for Gengar and then you'd win. Zard at 20 seems kind of unreasonable. Maybe a bit lower. Um... Yeah, I don't know what 20%, because there's also, like, I don't, like, Lugia and Sea Power are going to be up there, too. Like, like what was Zard's peak last format? Because it is better than it was last format, and early meta pe pe people play it safe. I don't know, like, what Zard was, like, peak at, like, San Antonio or whatever that whatever it was. But prizing Gengar? Well, you could also just prize your mini or as well, if, if you're worried about that. His peak was 18%. I guess twenty percent is not out of the question then, because I, I like if people are just like trying to get like, a big chunk of points at IC, like I don't IC, just go like four four one or whatever you need for for points. Zard's probably like, the safest pick. It's also just easy and it's like Zard, so it's like everyone loves Charizard. Everyone's favorite Pokemon is Charizard. Yet another reason to not play block. <laughs> Wait, no, you would still just win. You just push up Mimikyu and they can't do anything. Yeah. But I guess, like... So... I guess you, like, can't, really, like, force him to Zardy X ever. That's the issue. Because, like, Pidgey Control can force him to Zardy X. Ah, uh, so I guess that, that, that may be the issue. Yeah, I did get another reason to maybe not play block. <laughs> yes, he's a much bigger tournament with a lot of new British players. Yeah. I, th that's why I'm thinking like Zard, Lugia, and even maybe Future can be popular for that reason. Like, people are buying up those Iron Hands. It's a $15 card now. So, like, people are going to play. Like, Future is not a very good deck, but people are going to play it anyway. It's the same thing as like Roaring Moon Alley, I see. Like, the deck was not very good. But people played it anyway, like the second most played deck. I don't know if Future Transit will be that popular, but like it's gonna be popular for sure. It wouldn't shock me if it's over ten percent. I mean, that does just like kind of suck though. Like it just farm farming Lugia Simulator. And it's twenty now. I mean, <laughs> I should I I should, I should probably sell my Iron Hands. I'm like never gonna play this deck so. I wouldn't see match for future night. You need to see how it's played. I was testing it earlier, and with the Radzard, it felt so much better. Like, I can just prize trade fairly well. Like, with, with Whippy Tough and Radzard, like, it wasn't that bad. I, I'm definitely biased against linear decks. <laughs> I, I've never, like, liked those aggro decks, so I'm, I'm probably too harsh on future, but also it doesn't have a very good matchup spread. But hey, I guess you could probably go 4 4 1 farming Lugias. Maybe. I mean, maybe you'll steal a win against. You don't need second Wiggly now that we have Radzard. Like, the games where you like prize Wiggly, you would like no big hit in the entire game. So, like, well, this sucks. But we have Radzard now. So, like, against a Lost Box, we would just need to kill like one Roaring Moon or two Roaring Moons. And Zard can do that. Um, against Chimpow, if we need to go KO Bax plus Iona, we, we we can do that. And it helped make space for the Clef of Package to help me be more consistent and better into Spirit Tomb decks. Is Magma Basin worth running? Oh, in, in anything? <laughs> in, in Arc Armor Rouge, probably, but I don't think in Control. Or Loose Lugia, if you prize it? Um, I don't know if that's true either. We, we, we have... Pidgeot that can KO rats. We have Zard that can KO rats. We have Cloth that can KO rats. And also, it's one in ten that we prized anyway. So, and is putting up results. Wait, what results? I'm confused. That hasn't really been doing that well online. I mean, it's got it's got like some finishes, but nothing like nothing insanely good. Or maybe we just all need that Erica's 
Erica's in hand sauce. Control you may not be may not play Erica anymore, but at least Iron Hands does. Need two area in here, kids finish block box I IRL. Nice. Sometimes it feels like just future hands just goes first and it loses the game. Like the deck literally can't do anything. Well, I guess it can. It can build to a turn to amp. But like, yeah, it's not great. I mean, the biggest strength of the deck is that it's fast. It's it's aggressive. It achieves the turn one attack pretty frequently. I would kind of like to see someone like play some judges in this deck to me, like scam charters and uh lost box. I guess you're probably arcane the lost box, but, like Zard and C power, just like hands plus or judge plus Maraid on punch turn one. But like I guess you're gonna draw hands full of energy. Hmm. That's that's a problem. I don't know, I just feel like this deck is missing something. Like it's just not there. What does the Maradini X do? It slaps. It just does a lot of damage. Like you could you you could reach 320 with this card. Am I going to UIC? No. Why don't I just play fire instead of luminous? Because attacking with Mimic you could be good. <laughs> exactly. I'm I'm never touching future hands either. Exactly. Does the Arcane matchup change with Radzard? Yeah, Radzard definitely makes it better than the than the Buffon. Why do I need to attack with it? When am I gonna get punished for having Luminous over a fire? And mirror, I guess, because I could temple off my fire, but who really cares? Like what like what like What's the downside? Because if I don't play, I never can possibly use a Ghost Eye, even if I wanted to. But if I... I, mean, I, I can't Super Rot it back, I guess? Um, but also, it's a special energy on Wigglytuff. So, if I would just like want to get an initial special energy drop on Wigglytuff to buff its HP, it also works there, too. Like, I don't have to just find one of the three other... It gives me fourth special energy which we took out by um cutting it a double turbo artina runs Sinnoh. You know? uh no it doesn't <laughs> anybody lost city or uh league headquarters why well, no Mag magma basin it's just not needed it's like, like like before when we had clara and stuff like swinging with early rads out is better because you could like get it back but now if you like swing with rads out early like you can't i mean you still can get it back Actually, swing with Razard early is like a lot less good now. I mean, it still can be good. I also, I don't have the fires to get in the discard pile that easily either. Like before, we played like two. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's what you do. You got you, you got luminous for a fire and add the add the basin in there. Sauce. Back is good against future. Good against C Pow. Uh, to take care of the pokey sub and also like if I'm putting a rescue board on like a Pidgey or a Jigglypuff to pivot back into Cleffa. I would like to get the um, the rescue board off that Pokemon so I can put an actually good tool on it. And uh, I, yeah, I can, I can send the Lumis back. Yeah, that's that that's true. How's the prize cringe going? Not sure what what, what, what you're talking about. Hey, this card is like twenty. This deck has like twenty eight one ups. I'm trying. You're playing in this tournament. Nice. Um, yeah, this deck is like 20, I think I counted earlier, like 28 one-ofs. Like, if you put it on a limitless thing that copy, it gets cut off. It's, it's so beautiful. Playing tonight? I am. Oh, I guess I, I, I never updated my record. But isn't this beautiful? You know you have a super based list when it cuts a card off. You know when the image generator takes a card away that you're doing it right. I just want to... <laughs> yeah. Deck is broken. Um, but yes, beautiful. Uh, so the the Meta Knight, a lot of future hands. Cpow, Lugia, Zard, the usual suspects. Three, 
three Pidgeot gamers. Are they all Wigglytuff? They are. It's beautiful. Do they just net deck? The list. Oh, they're playing two Snorlaxes. That's gross. This has a lot I don't like. This deck looks like a brick. Like, you basically cut consistency for Snorlaxes. Which is like kind of niche anyway. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't don't like Snorlax. Oh yeah, this 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 ain't it. I'm not cutting consistency to play a Snorlax. Um, okay, well, I guess since we have the, we have some actual time, I do want to like look at the standings from this online tournament earlier, because the Bennett Legends, Matus won a tournament with 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 Bennett's. It'd be crazy to like see Bennett win EYC or something. There was a list that like got top eight at late night like last week, and this looks pretty similar. Um, the, the Cypher Mania actually seems pretty good for this deck, but that one was playing Cape, and this one's playing Prime Catcher, which is kind of interesting. I feel like Cape is pretty good in this deck, because you item lock and then they can't back. Oh, you are playing Lax? What do you... Uh, I... I didn't know that we added that. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. So what was, like, what's the specific... Like, use case for the Lax. Because it, like... I mean, it's okay against Future, right? It's, like, okay against Zard and Lost Box and Pow. But it, like, never feels game-changing. Like, that's... It, like, it feels like there's, like, sh should be better cards, right? Unnecessary into hands. And that's what... That's that's why you play uh, Wigglytuff and prize trade with the hands. It all makes sense. Yeah, at least to slow him down. That, that seems kind of good. I'm kind of glad I'm going to Orlando, not UIC. So I can just, like, wait and see what Hands does. Because, like, the lists are all, are all over the place. So I, like... At least blindly, you don't really know what to do game one. Like, do you go for the Retreat Lock? Because, like, if they... I mean, if they don't play Psychics or Switches, you win. <laughs> Toughest Cope into Hands? That's just not true, but okay. Um... Like, you go with the retreat lock, you could get punished. But, like, it might be your best bet. <laughs> not a not a tough enjoyer. Rip. Um, well, that's sad. <laughs> Wiggly tough good. Okay, we were looking at Bennett. Bennett's kind of cool. We're going to stream Bennett after Orlando. That deck looks fun. There he was like two Bennett's in like the top six. Are they the same list or are they a little different? They were a little bit different, it looks like. Like this one's, I don't think that other one played double Wasteland. But Wasteland seems kind of cracked with so little counter stadiums. I personally give with, with, with bird control. Uh, you try to KO both Archeops and then go Cloth with... Uh, you got to KO both Archeops with Lily Tough or just KO all the uh, Chinchinos. Locked as well. You, you, you probably play, play Pidgeot. Yeah. What's up, Pokemon Collector? I... I yeah, I'm... I'm probably... I mean, I, yeah, I'm playing Control in one form or another. It's just... The list I'm not 100% certain on. Like, something crazy would have to happen for me to be like, nah, I'm not playing control. Uh, cause like, I've been playing, I've been playing this for like the last however many months. And it still feels pretty good. I feel like top players are probably more likely to play Pidgeot. And like, also, there's just like a, cr like, there's some sauce out there. Like, if, like, yeah, there's gonna be some sort of crazy sauce that just, like, wins. <laughs> what forms am, am I debating between? It's a, I, I mean, like, I'm something bird control. Like, it, the same basic shell. It's just, like, do I want to play Wigglytuff? Do I want to play other stuff? 
Um, and yeah, we still have to uh, figure it out. The deck looks so different now. We just added, I guess, oh, there's Clef and Radzard. It does look a little different. There's no Bouffant in there. Um, yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, rip Bouffant. That card was uh, broken. The, yeah, the, the last remaining piece of a Buffalo Wild Wings is gone. Yeah, the Riz and the Boof are gone. I didn't play Control. What else would I play? I've I've literally, I, ever since the set dropped Thursday, I've only spent my free time testing Control. I mean, I've played a little bit like Tina and Artina and some other stuff, but I've <laughs> spent the bulk of my time playing Control. I've spent literally every stream playing Control. So... I'd be kind of, I, I'd be lying to say I'd be considering something other than control. It's just picking the, the right other pieces. Like I'm going to be announcing quick search and one way or another, it's just like, <laughs> what am I attacking with? Oh, it's an Artina. I think it's, I think it's pretty underrated. I don't think it's like anything super amazing, but I think it's underrated. A random rescue board? Nah, a rescue board's cracked. It helps us use Cleffa. I was like testing IRL today, and like I had, I, like it was crazy. Like, I, cause like those games you do, you do like, like Arvin for Nest Ball for Rotom for Forest Seal Stem for Pidgey, they feel kind of scuffed. But like when you can just go Arvin for Poffing, and you can keep your Forest Steel Stone Forest Seal Stone live, not have a two prizer, have a free retreater active. And just draw, just still draw a bunch of cards. It felt so good. Like I was, <laughs> I was doing it. Like dang, I. This feels pretty good. Why do you play this deck? It's so evil. Wow, wow. It's ironic that you're saying my deck is evil when you're guardy. But okay. Um, I'm sorry for ruining people's day. I really apologize. If I ruin your day, I'm sorry. I feel really bad. I feel very bad. Just like beat Quadlax. Yeah, Quadlax is up pretty good. No, actually, I can cook by Quadlax. I cut Buffalon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's cool about Pidgeot is like you actually get to like find your cards, like your your, your good cards in the matchups. So, like you can just put your Silenes in your hands so that they don't get milled. And also, yeah, you can knock out the uh, Chiyu apparently. I probably made the EIC matter worse. That's good. I'm glad. If someone day twos with Wiggly stuff at EUIC, um, that'd be insane. What 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 do we think, chat? Over under, uh, doing over under one Wiggly tough make day two. Um, <laughs> yeah, your quad lax deck. Nah, you're still getting cooked. That was kind of crazy, all those no-shows, but I guess we're um we're uh, st 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 still gaming. Should, I, should you troll locals with with with, with Wigglytuff? Yes. Day two, like it goes six to one or better out of UIC. Got four hammers. Congrats. <laughs> I I have Airy to discard your hammers. I don't your hammers have to hit heads. A lot of one and a half. I'm I'm hitting the under. I like this deck has just done so bad online. Like aside from me, no one's like played it. Like or like okay, other people have played it. It just like doesn't go very well for them. So, but maybe people are cooking the sauce offline. It just looks like a mess. So I can understand you're just like, no, nah, I'm not touching this, even though it's broken. Cause, like the other people who. Are at the top here on the, of the uh, wonderful bird control leaderboard. I have all kinds of other crazy stuff happening. If Willie makes day two, it'll be in Lugia. No shot, bro. No shot. How is this like the number one deck on the control bird control leaderboard? This is a tragedy. I guess you're probably doing the same game plan into Lugia with the Zard. It just seems kind of clunkier. Does Bouvelon make energy reliant matchups like Pow and Bolt worse? Pow is still like the the Chimpanzee doesn't change. In fact, it gets better. 
Um, Raging Bolt probably gets worse, but also having Zard is pretty good in that matchup as well. I don't know, Zard, Bolt probably gets better because I can just nuke stuff. I like Luxray and Lugia. Like Baby Locks for the Mirror. I don't think it's necessary. The deck's already clunky enough. I could play Wiggly Tap Lugia last format. I'm surprised you admitted to that. <laughs> yeah, like the deck's already clunky enough. I don't think I'd be teching for the Lugia Mirror. Like, how much does it even really make a difference though? You just win the flip and win the mirror. Um Yeah. Because you have like Wiggly Tap that can just like nuke or you have the Chinchino that can just nuke. The um, other players, Lugia. Controls a deck that requires a lot of deck knowledge. Wow. I feel like I, I feel called out. I'm, am I not a good control player? I touch online tournaments. Dang it. I knew I was mid chat. Rip. Am I supposed to keep up with that? I mean, their deck, how'd their deck work? I mean, like, they're playing Lug with Wigglytuff. Side for me. Okay. I, I felt called out. That was like, oh no! But someone finally tells me, hey, Bledsoe, you're not good. And I'm like, dang, I knew it all along. It confuses me how the deck looks like. No more Wiggly? No, there, there, there is Wiggly. There's just one less Wiggly. Because we have the Shiny Fire Lizard now. It does kind of scuff me though, because I mainly play control online, and then when I play IRL, it's just like I can't go look over here and see what they're playing. It's like, oh man, I gotta actually like take chances and stuff and know what they're uh like, oh, they have two switches down. Do I go for the retreat lock or not? <laughs> it is kind of weird. Time to prize all the wiggies again? I hope so. I hope so. One match left. Oh, it's the Zard versus Control. I mean, it, yeah, it is very annoying. Like, I'm sure you do get some kind of buff of just people not knowing what your deck does. But, like, I like being able to know that just, like, Mawile wins the game. And I don't have to, like, Penny Loop or anything. I can just Mawile, and I have nothing that they can do about it. Yeah, it's very stressful. I, I someone told me that like someone posted this in in their like discord or whatever and someone said like what the heck is this deck go play Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> like <laughs> all right well I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh but thanks how's the tournament going we had we got no show round one so we're we're chilling being able to search out any card with the bird is kind of good and kind of bad because like that like you can do whatever you want but also you have like too many options and it's too easy to choose the wrong one <laughs> just, just, just get good i guess big vibe yeah for sure hopefully like all the future hands know should not we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat future hands today trust prep for orlando not quite we're trying though we're trying i'm excited though it's only like a week and a half ish away so yeah, <laughs> I haven't been to a regional since 2019. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I'm not sure how, how mentally I'll be able to play nine rounds of that control plus uh, six the next day, but. Buffon's just mid, though. Like, I was a Buffon believer now. The card's just not that good. Or the decks it's good against is are not good decks. Like, it was, like, great against Ancient Box, but Ancient Box is not real. But, like, you don't need it for block. That's the thing. Am I playing Buried at Orlando? I hope so. If not, the uh, classic... It's me, uh... Classic last-minute last stressing over random nonsense. Um, which I, I tend to do, especially uh, when I was in seniors and stuff. I would always stress out and make horrible... Like, switch last second and make horrible medicals. And do badly. 
but I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to try to lock in early and just like turn my brain off and just be like I'm gonna play the bird and we're gonna but we'll figure the rest out. Yo, that was that was your testing finder got second. That's pretty sick. Once you once you experience the luxuries that the bird provides, you can't go back. You can't go back to the regular Snorlax lifestyle. It's just not possible. It's just like instead of instant charging for, for three cards, I just want to search my deck for any one card that I want. Place can come with the sauce. It better not be Aerodactyl. I will mute you if it's Aerodactyl. Okay, but it's a lost pile. Hoopa. Moon, hands, Raikou, Crisis Punch. Only one VAC. One VAC, one boss prime. Alright, this seems fine. Hoopa can definitely bully my Wigglytuff though. Bruh, trolling. Lost City is fake. Lost City is not real. Especially if all these Lost Box decks are playing Spirit Zoom and stuff. It makes Block feel even worse. Now a name. Bruh. Okay, I, got, I must be full on friends. I'm gonna assume that's uh, what's 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 happening here. We will um, delete a couple people. I'm gonna have to reset, I guess. That's cool. Dango down sparse. Seems fine. Bloff is like the most optimal fighting type in control. Bloff is pretty good. <laughs> now that path is gone, there's nothing to shot off its ability. Uh, that That's pretty good. Lost since Chiu, Charmeleon, and one. But like, you, we, we, we don't need to win more, boys, again. Our deck's already a clunk enough pile. Like, we don't need to win more against decks we, are, we, we, we already beat. What match does Cloth get good into? Um, it's the best matchup. It's like or the matchup it's best into is is Lugia. Um, but it can be cool against Arc stuff and Future and sometimes Lost Box as well. Uh, who are we? Who are we? Uh... Okay, dang. Yeah, just like have to. I mean, how much does the does the Dunsparce do? Like, doesn't it do like 80 or 90 or something? Just a Dialga, or, or, and you love, love it so much. Dialga is kind of, it's funny, but it's clunky. Yeah, it's, it's I, like, literally Necro Necrozma rank is the new uh, Arceus rank. There's a lot of, a lot of people on my friends list are now Master Ball, which has like never happened before. Okay. Can I get the friend request? I guess we'll reset again. Excited for the new Ursa Luna EX in the deck. Oh yeah, the Blood Moon Ursa Luna will, will go crazy. That will be insane for control. <laughs> 340, wasn't like, doesn't have 240 on a basic or is it 260? Yeah, you just slap stuff. I wonder if that replaces Radzard. Maybe or maybe you play both. Dang, you have 360 HP slapping 240. That seems insane. Hug one's literally trying to make control BDIF. <laughs> Are they here? Yay! Um, let's do it. Now I'm paranoid that my deck changes in it's safe. They did. Yay! All right, let's get it. And we, all right, first, first, techn technically the first round today, so let's go. So, yeah, up again, still up against, oh, yeah, lost pile. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it, going first, probably. Oh, yeah, it is colorless, that's true, I didn't even think about that. Yes, you could, like, save the cape. 
That's that's pretty good. I guess you could do that with with Penny anyway, but just additional synergy. Yeah, I, I don't know what Chris does not like about people. Yeah, what the person does not like about people with with Chris in their name, but apparently they do. Is this a call for family angle? I think it is. I think this is a call for like they don't play like. I, mean, I get totally cooked if second page is prize, but like I have to get roads on the board. I'm literally just gonna go draw pass if I don't. Yeah, this hand's kind of mid. But yes, we just we we always top deck ultra ball. It's fine. Were they playing tomb? I didn't even look. If they're playing tomb, we just cry. But they're, but they're not. So that that that's great. I love playing sisters my as my supporter turn one. It means we are a uh, big gaming. And they're getting more comfies down. That's pretty good. You donked them? Yo. It's always sick when you can get like the turn two plus three KO their only base. Like that always feels so good. Okay, so they do only leave room for one big attacker, which is kind of But they could be trying to play for the turn two um uh, Moonlight Shuriken is back for, for any specific. It still functions as a stadium answer, but also can get rid of batons, can get rid of pogey stops, max belts, um, all that cool stuff. <laughs> Penny Pidgeot DC for game cracked. Oh, well, I'm not playing sisters now. Uh, do I bench cloth anyway? Retreat into cloth might be okay. But I don't really want to do that. Like, I'd rather not. Uh, yes, yes. We can instant charge this turn, I guess. We can go retreat to Mimikyu, get down Rotom, instant charge. And the, I guess Clefa could have been even better than that, actually. Um, the cloth is prized. Rip. The Wiggly's have to enter the Radzards in there. All four Arvins, Candies, Forest. I see other double turbo and fire. That's tragic. Well, that feels kind of bad. But, um, we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. There's Ultra Ball, which can be Fish, which can be um, Arvin and stuff. So, yes, we take that. As long as we don't get sniped. I guess they could also go Prime Catcher Spit, KO Pidgey, and that would just kind of suck. I mean, they would only be sending their Prime Catcher for one prize, but then they also could maybe just like Lost Mine and stuff after that on, on any Pidgey. So, kind of awkward early setup for us. They have lost a couple energies already, which is good. And a rod. I assume they're playing four. I should like try doing these online terms with like out looking at someone's list. They're only playing three rods and they lost them in one. Well, that kind of probably tells us that there's more rods in the hands. So Airy may maybe could go kind of crazy. Um Yeah, because like both lightnings are down, so like if we get, like, got rid of couple rods that would be pretty pretty good for us oh no do they have it dude please no they did they hit the one of vac and everything dude i mean airy <laughs> looks really good i top deck candy so airy goes hard Do you have vacuum? Been struggling versus iron thorns lately. Which iron thorns? I'm surprised they didn't ping the Arotom for a lost mine later. Dang, I really want to use Airy, but also I like have to set up too. <laughs> um, it, yeah. Yeah, because like otherwise we just get lost mine and our entire day is ruined. Feels bad though, that would be insane. Oh, 
I don't like beating Penny. But also, this feels awkward. I like Penny. Uh, sure. Or is it? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I don't know. This, this might be wrong. I don't know. This feels kind of scuffed. But now I like sit behind cloth and what do they do? Because they're down so many rods and energies already. Okay. We get down the bird. Um... I really wish we could have gone airy. I may I should have ripped Pokestop and tried to get candy and gone for airy because that would have just been so insane. It's not now, now I have to quick search for nest ball and stuff, so I probably just messed that up entirely. Like, we're just not gaming right now. It's okay, I'm broken. What decks am I scared of? Really? The only deck I just like do not want to face? Well, even that. Like, Future and Artina are probably the most like awkward matches, but they both feel winnable. Yeah, I... I think in hindsight, I probably should have ripped Pokestop. Like, Pokestop could have milled the... The, um... What's it, what's it called? They could have milled the Forest Seal Stone. That would have felt really bad. The upside was pretty high, though. Like, if it hits Candy... And we can use airy and all that in one turn that would have gone crazy because like there is a chance that we just get our pidgeot knocked out here and that would suck I mean, they have basically access to their entire deck yeah Ugh. if i didn't know like if i just like raw airy last turn we just lost to lost mine basically like sableye comes in and makes us miserable so i'm assuming that they, they have prime catcher ko on pidgeots yeah it feels bad i guess putting the putting the the, the 90 there was pretty good yeah Hopefully they're lacking energy and they can't find it. There's a switch. Is retreat lock ever an angle? Uh-oh. Cards. Oh, there's gonna KO cloth. This is okay then. Cause like, wait, hold up. They have one dark in the lost zone and one in the discard pile. They still would have one left. I would have loved to be able to get like a charm on the cloth as well, but did not happen. Harry seems kind of good. Those prizes suck. <laughs> Harry seems good. Like Harry, this is where a lax would be pretty, pretty nice. Right, you, you are you are you kidding? There's like nothing. How? Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, we get both gates, which is good, I guess. And they have two cards. I was hoping to get like double card or something or rod and heart. Well, that was not as good as I thought it would be. And they have vacuum in it. Man, should I have been vacuum? Because now I can't go like cape. I'm probably playing this very badly. Um, yes. What do we have to even like sit behind? Like we could just like, go like sit behind Zard and just be like, okay, gouge this. I don't know. I'm, I'm very good at this game. I promise. Now we want to bait them to spend switches, go back into cram, and then win, win with them all while. Yes, you got rolled by Last Tina. Rip.
That one of Prime Catcher is really scaring me. I guess we could have gone Sisters because we like sort of knew that they didn't have it. Or I could have assumed that they didn't have it. Or I could have gotten rid of Belts. Or could, could, could have gotten rid of Vacuum and pushed up Mawile with a cape on it in last turn. Things are very awkward for sure. Oh, this is a 100% misplay. Yeah, this is... That was like the worst thing that they could have done. But I prized my other DTE. Dang it. Now I have to say lean it back, right? But like, they don't have a response because all, all, all their gates are gone. So maybe it's okay. All right. Good. We can get back the, the, the DT, take this KO. All their gates are gone. They only have one rod left. Um, don't have an easy way to take their last two prizes. I don't, I don't have to play, play my pads because I can't just disrupt my hand just yet. All right, this is actually okay. Would I be offended if you copied my list? No, that's totally cool with me. <laughs> you, like any of the lists you see on the channel, like feel free to mess around with them. Like it is totally fine. This is where Lost Vacuum can be pretty good. Cause like, I want to get this charm off the Pidgeot, but I don't want it just to get knocked out in consecutive turns, right? So I can, um, I guess like the, it's 110, they still have to hit 180. No, it would only be 80 actually, Never mind. So yeah. They do have that lost back in hand though. They, they have to be careful drawing cards. Uh, Cause they don't want to play into Chi Yu. I guess Tur or um, Charon could be pretty good to go for like Fang Snipe. Um, they get the Sableye out of the lost zone. Ah, I lost it out of the prize cause they didn't even want a flower select which is kind of interesting. Okay. Slow play now? I mean, I think, I think there's still a, a lot of time left in the in the round. Yeah, there's still 16 minutes. So even if they are, it's not probably going to matter because this game uh, shouldn't last too much longer. Wait, they just bench locked out of Sableye. So now I can just freely Sharon. Sharon is like, yeah, I just Sharon Fang Snipe. That was a hundred percent of it. Like, okay, they're just, this is what I love about control. We can just body people who don't play correctly. They don't have gates, so my Pidgey is safe. Um, yeah, I don't know why they bench lock like like that. Sure. What did I swap for Cleffa? I took out um, second Wiggly Tough and an Ultra Ball for the Cleffa and the uh, a Skateboard. Yeah, because now they three hit me, so I don't even have to penny. I can, like, rip sisters this turn. Get Candy Pidgeot. Is it only, like, this is this is the uh, luxuries of, of open list. There's one lost vacuum. All right, wait. Does uh, Chiyu just win it now? Uh, Chiyu does just win it. Okay. <laughs> Sick. I feel like I did not play that game very well, but, um, yeah, we take it. <laughs> that gouge into the Zard was like the worst thing that they could have done. And then afterwards bench locking. Cause if they left the, the thing open for, um, 
Sableye, I would have, I couldn't have like done the, the Luxray play. Does Wigglytuff have sleeves? I've not seen those. Yeah, we had, um, we had Luminous in deck. It is kind of weird because it's not a red energy, but yeah, it counts. That was a stressful game. I think they probably could have done something differently, but it's okay. Are we playing bird control for Orlando? That's the plan. We can tell back in business. Let's go. How's my deck matchup in, in into Tina? It's it's fine. I can fairly confidently say I'm playing some version of 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 bird control in, in Orlando. Something crazy would have to happen for me to be like, yeah, bird controlling it. Can you link the sleeves in chat? Um, sure. Well, actually the, the auto mod might delete it, but if you're in the discord, you can post them or you can shoot me a, a, a DM as well. The, uh, the uh, Wiggly Tough sleeves to go with the uh, Wiggly Tough control deck would go pretty crazy. <laughs> What's my biggest threat to the list? I would say Future or Artina are the worst matchups for this deck. But they're still very winnable. No bird control with a perfect 3 0 round one. Hey, and even the double lax bro is 2 0. So yeah, for, for bird control, that'd be 6 0 maybe? Pretty good. Sneezing, not good. So I guess we're not jumping ship over to the to the seven o'clock one. <laughs> Unable to accept. Wait, what? It's an April Fool's joke. What if I do this? I'm pretty sure all the like all the invites are uh, should be a permanent. Yeah. How's the day been? I was pr pr pretty good. Like, <laughs> I actually like had a day where I tested a lot of Pokemon. Like, I've been kind of lazy about it. Like, I've been just doing these tournaments and not doing a ton of testing outside of it. But I actually did that today, so feeling up pretty good. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully winning tonight. Like, haven't got any first place with this deck yet, so we're playing the smaller tournament just so we can get first place. And, um. Hope we get on all the uh, YouTuber thumbnails. Um, and like, I hope there's like several thumbnails with, with Wiggly Tough won a tournament. That's the goal. Like, how, how many people tonight? Like, 69 people. Wiggly Tough wins. It's all perfect, right? Wiggly Tough. Artina should be a winnable mashup. Oh, yeah, it's, it's winnable. Like, I'm fairly confident there's nothing that this deck just straight up scoops to. Like you're playing into everything. Like obviously there's matchups that are better than others, but like there's nothing you're just like, well, I'm not gonna win this. You know what ancient box going hard? I lost it to a great tusk mill. Big sad. Lugia? No, Lugia's fine. I don't know what I would do with the PSA 9 polymies. We are uh, gaming into, in, into Lugia. Actually, is there even that much Lugia tonight? I mean, there is, but it's not a, not doing all that great. Hey, that one beat, beat a, a, a Future Hands. There's one Lugia that, that, that we could face. Must have been a break from the, the hands. As a fellow control player, what is the claw for? So the... Main game plan with it is against Lugia, we want to knock out their Archeops or knock out their Chinchinos. Basically, Cloth gets that final hit on their Chinchino. And then every time they hit it, they lose an energy. So we can Penny Loop it. They even eventually uh, revert over to Penny Looping Chi Yu. Also, can be cool against Charizard, uh, cool against Arc, and even Lost Box. Um, just to, to, to get rid of an energy and then Penny it out. 
if I win the pot, I have to play it my deck in Orlando. I mean, it's, it would be kind of hard to do that because it's Japanese, so. Um, I don't think so. This one's a cuttable card if I want out a single lax. Um, that's a great question. I don't know. I had a hard enough time fitting the Cleffa in here. I guess I'd probably cut Cleffa and board, go back and forth Ultra Ball, and put in a lax. That would, would, would be what I would do. Now, Cleffa's Clutch. I, I take out the rescue board in the Cleffa for fourth Ultra and a, and a lax. Cloth is a pretty good. Next round's up already. Sheesh. We are up against a Zard. Zard playing Tarot Pad. Vacuum. Max Belt. The good Charmeleon. Okay. Well, this will be a lot more interesting than, than usual. Where'd the Abufon go? Come on. Forever. It is good against Zard, but it, it's... Uh, it's a not needed. Rad's are things better all around. I think the cut could be the luminous. Rising energy, I think it's so sus. Who wants to get a haircut? Maybe. What's the game plan against Lost Tina? I want, like, thanks type early to get rid of resources, bait the Requiem. Um, Defiance investing your. Your thing, your Pidgeot can be good. Miss Synergy Wigglytuff can be really good, I guess. Um, Aerie is a very good card. <laughs> Needs a Reggie Drago V and V Star? Hey, you might be right. You might be right. Vulpix. Um, let me win against Chin Pao, Lugia, and Charizard. But, like, it wouldn't beat Lugia. They would just use a Chinchino on it. <laughs> the, the, that Vulpix doesn't last in too long against Lugia. Wait, what's, what's my worst matchup with this deck? I would say probably... It'd be either Arctina or Future. I start to go quite a bit. I try to win games. Um, People have been cutting switches for, like, Jet Energies and Turos. Just because, like, Aerie makes it even more difficult to hold your switches for the right spot so like people are reverting those slots over to like cards that can't get milled um are they online i guess oh yeah got debated because their name was all caps on limitless but it was not um not in here but like also the win con against zard isn't usually for tree locking so the thing that worries me more i guess would be the the 70 damage charmeleon and how, like the pal pad giving them the potential of four bosses. We we we, we get to go second. That's great. And and with mist energy in the list, they can bench Rotom and put mist energy on it because they can't get trapped. Like I think in closed list, someone would never do that because like all it would take would be a Yakumo or a Snorlax to totally wreck that. But in closed list, they could 100% put down Rotom to get an extra, some some, uh, some more card draw. They got Turo Pad and the Mist Energy, so I think it's never getting stuck. I wish I went first with this hand, honestly. <laughs> but hey, this is fine. This looks like a um. Dang, this just might just be a call for family, just like. So like the blind call for family could go really hard. But also, I don't want to, like, just basically tell them that, like, I don't know. I don't want to, like, if the second Pidgey's prize, it gets cooked. The Miss Energy does stop the Mall out trap. Like, when we, when we had Yaku on the list, it was, like, not really a play that, that, that they could make. But now it is. They're loading up with Charmanders. They do bench Rotom, which... Smart. Do we uh take the one in ten chance that the uh thing is not prized? Okay, I guess we can just say for certain. Cause also okay, the board is prized. Rip. The Pidgey was prized. Okay. 
Um, let's go heavy ball. I don't. I kind of want to get Rotom down as well. Oh yeah, I guess call actually. Never mind. The cape is pressed too. No, keeps in hand. I'm so silly. Boxer is in there. And the Sharon. All right, this is okay. We can get that Mimikyu Rotom. Yeah, that feels kind of awkward. Because I like having Luxray in this matchup. We think better into Zargon, they've been benching Rotom with awkward hands. Um, Yeah, Lax is definitely not better than Mawile. Because they, they, they have so many more switch outs. Um, so... Yeah. I want to check out this guy's list real quick. Do they, do they play like a Vita Band or anything? They, they play a Choice Belt. So they could go and aggressively knock out my Rotom. If, like, if they had the hand to do it. But they just, they just burn, burning darkness. Um, This could just be like an Airy this turn. Um, Definitely send a Mimikyu. Um, what if I'm like airy charm up the Mimikyu? Um, like how it does seems fine. That's pretty good. Other hand just kind of sucks. Well, that's that 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 is wonderful. All right, let's do this, do this, do that. And this, all right, this is, I'm liking the way that this is developing. Like they could go retreat heat tackle, but then I, I just go penny counter catcher. And yeah, they lost pal pads that like now they only have like two bosses. So they sort of have to hit through this thing. They do just instant charge. Would kind of like to do it again. <laughs> like um, do the thing again where I airy but that's just not possible i mean i could eventually mini on into it but that seems kind of bad um so what are we searching for this turn could just be grabbing a penny for the future or not not let's like rip sisters maybe hits rods or vacuums or none well okay Just run double lax and represent all lax board easy. Well, then I have a burr on there. <laughs> then I should be playing quad lax. Kind of the, the whole point of this deck is to have a Pidgeot in play. So boss is always a switch out. <laughs> They're trolling Zan. Alright, next time we do we alchemy for a pad. Can't even do a second Zard. What is the? I can like not even enemy straight on another Zard. I'm confused what this what that accomplished for them. All right, they boss the bird. Okay, we did price the other Pidgeot, which does kind of suck. So I think I want to save the Seal Stone. Um, we can, yeah, we can Heroes Cape, so we do, we, yeah, we can do this. Um, get Palpad, get the Charm. Go back in Sisters and Airy. We can Quick Search. We can get ourselves... Um, what do, what, what, yeah, what do we want, actually? This is interesting. Could just be, like, an Aerie for next turn. Seems fine. Or maybe, like, actually Sisters to go, like, actually hunt Lost Vacuum. Nah, because they're, they're going to end up instant charging next turn, so we want to be able to, 
I'll deal with that. So we heroes cape and we instant charge. Yeah, it's slightly unfortunate that we like got a Pidgey knocked out early and now can't get another one down, but like, yeah, this is fine. They only have, since they're playing like two boss, one pad, they maybe spend another boss to kill Pidgeots. Um, because I can't, because it's in the discard pile and I have a Pidgeot prize, so if I rod first, then I can't get a second Pidgeot going. I have to hit a Silene head, so we're not, we're not, we're not going to do that. Yeah, once, or... That, and that they, they have to commit vacuum as well, because they can max belt and vacuum and KO cloth. But I assume they're gonna instant charge here, then we're gonna have some airy fun. And yeah, here we go. Play Penny and Tina for some reason and prize both Erica's. Yeah, that that's pretty bad. Uh, sure we can get the uh the misfortune. Not much. They are holding boss. Oh, they they do have boss max belt, so they're gonna be able to pull it off. And hold vacuum. Which is kinda kinda sus. That's alright, that's alright. Then they're out of They're out of like th th then we can vacuum the max belt and wall with a uh, cloth. Yeah, this is fine. Now Cloth wins the game. Cause we just chill with, with Mimikyu and as soon as they retreat. Yeah, we just like put down Cloth with the with the charm. Use the vac. And we even can just reestablish Pidgeot. I don't think there's saying the rod feels kinda weird. Now we can't get Mim Mimikyu back. But yeah, they're they're on a boss anyway, so like they can't even chase the cloth to to begin with. We can just put it on the board even. Um. Yeah, we we can just sisters. I normally wouldn't mill that stuff, but like we kind of have to play for for the deck out here. Um, broken. Let's see, yeah, just just the, the two boss, so everything's safe. You have seven rods? Nah, Silene is fake. Silene is not real. They retreat. Did they find the vac? Alright. Cause now we just penny back into cloth, quick surge for a vacuum, take that away. And that should be the game. Did I cut Yochir? I've not had Yochir in this list for a long time. I actually, it's since I played this deck post rotation, I've never had Yochir. All right, now we just yeah we, we we hit the vac, so we um alchemy. Oh, perfect. <laughs> alchemy for Pidgeots. Or actually, we can get Ultra Ball and dump those cards. Um, and then we can quick for Penny. Get back into the to the cloth. Two one, your prize eerie. Dang, I want to make sure we have enough time. Like we're we're not gonna get time trolled. Oh, still twenty minutes. I feel like this game has been going on for longer than that, but I guess not. What What's funny is we just like <laughs> we don't need Mawile. Uh, I guess we try to keep Mawile around. We're probably more likely to need Mawile than a double turbo energy. Yeah, I just want to... Well, I can rebench the Mimic you. There's no boss. Broken. Yeah, I don't think we can lose from this position. I don't know if Jin Pal gets me anything's possible. Nah, C Pass free. Mawile the Rodom? Nah, they play Mist Energy and Turo, so that would never work.
My loser round? <laughs> I should say that was wiggly tough. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm gonna look see if you have a clever. Let's go. <sighs> I think I just like side lean stuff back and just be prepared to a penny loop. Oh, so we just like. I should, I do not want to take knockouts. If I take knockouts, then, then they can KO cloth. Taking KOs is how I, is how I lose this game. I mean, here skips a pretty good card. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we can get that card back. Or we could just, yeah. It is very, very incorrect to um, take knockouts. Yeah. I would. Uh, okay, the candy, candy pitch. Yeah, I was like, okay. It would normally be kind of weird. I probably would not have instant charge if it, if it was closed list, because then Eerie would kind of wreck my day. But open list luxuries are cracked. And I could try to line up a Chi, like gusting the Gustus thing up using Chi, but I guess I always have access to a Turo now. I mean, what what other card was I going to get back? I guess I could have couldn't got. I can't talk. Could have gotten back sisters. Um. But yeah, cape is pretty good. <laughs> or raise cuff, I, th I think it's a common. There's like still 19 minutes left. I'm not worried about it. And the way there's evolved their good Charmeleon. There's still 17 minutes. Like I'm eventually just gonna pull up this and start using Chiyu probably. Force him to Turo. They can't be go back into the thing. Oh, and they're gonna start attacking. So they're also not playing for the tie either. So yeah, this is fun. Maybe when, when we whittle down more energies, we can go for it. But yeah, they're gonna actually try to knock me out. And maybe if I actually like attach fighting, this will like play some epic mind game that like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing to you. You better be scared. When I'm really not gonna do anything to them. Yo, <laughs> broken is the charge. Do I still have Wiggly Tough? In the deck, yes. But they've been a, uh, been uh, gotten rid of this game. I would think it's a common. It's like literally a 30 HP dude. Like <laughs> they, they, they don't give those kind of guys rares. All right. Are they just going to hit again? Oh no, they got rid of my charm. No, what are we going to do? Well, rip. But now, but they're playing all their Ionos early, so they can't just like play for the deck out now, because that's all three Ionos gone. So that's cool. And they're gonna have to rot again here pretty soon. Alright. Alright, just do this. Or if we can get pad, you don't need to get another penny. If, even if, wait, this actually could be an opportunity to use Chi Yu. No, nah, we don't have the hand to do it right now. But it, it almost could be. I want, I want them to like, have like three energies in the, in the discard pile for me to do that. I like this game over the old one, like PCG Live or PCGL. No, not really, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's, it's what we have, so can't really, can't really complain. I will be at Indianapolis. I mean, they have two fires left. 
Wait, is he gonna keep hitting me? I feel like they should have realized by now that like this is not gonna win them the game. Cause now I go Chi Yu. Oh actually wait. Yeah, I think going Chi is fine. Because we have we 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 have Pal Pad in hand, so we can we can do all kinds of crazy penny stuff. Max belt's gone, so, so they can't one hit us. Let's try to win a little faster. And we just hit Turo. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Busted. There's definitely bugs, but like it's not as bad as it used to be, but it's still not perfect. I like not being able to grab things on search bug. Like sometimes like you just can't grab a specific Pokemon off a nest ball. And that comes to occasionally to like wrecks your day. Yeah, we're we're cooking. Alright, coins flipping. Flipping coins. Yes, Silene is so good. Um sure. Sure. <laughs> let's go yeah they the triple counter catcher over boss is kind of crazy but hey i know that counter catcher card is pretty good and you got pal pad now so you like feel like you can play less boss um but it's <laughs> it's still kind of wild Do you think they would have played? They should, probably would have played Super Odd by now if they would have it, but also they don't want me to mill their fires, probably. Collapsed. Okay. Now I'm just gonna pal pad back in Aerie for the memes, and we're gonna uh, make them very sad. Because I'm, I'm thinking that they're holding the uh, Super Odd. They're like waiting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe oh, whatever. Yeah, we had we, we had the game anyway. But yes, we knew that it was in there. It made too much sense. They weren't gonna let let, let me mill it. But now we win. It wasn't rare in Japan. Okay. It's it's kind of funny because like last round people were playing like three boss one catcher sometimes. But yeah, boss Q is a bad deck gotten worse oh because of like the lugia matchup and just, like c power is still really tough right, well, I'm, I'm gonna keep clapping zards every round <laughs> feels good like that whole doom tournament we dodged zard and it was pretty sad but like yeah we're uh we're cooking well, i was watching i wouldn't let you take either option what <laughs> just timed you out I feel like Wigglytuff winning an online tournament is like the ultimate April Fool's joke. He was busted. Don't know about that. Not even the last one done. This is so um. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, it's something that we never saw before. I wasn't paying close enough attention to the, to the list to see. Oh, they just dropped. They just said nope, no more. Um. It's kind of like, whoa, you don't, you don't see that every day. You have to play a skateboard with, with Cleffa. Cleffa does not work without a skateboard. How many goos are in this tournament? Probably zero. Yeah. But there's another big tournament that started like, like 20 minutes ago. I ha there has to be Gudras there. For sure. Gudra? There's no Gudras. <laughs> oh man, no Gudra. Are there any birds? Wait, I mean, there's this fake bird deck. There's one bird control. And they already they lost to Zard and just packed it up. Bro, how? 
You got vacuum. But Lost City's terrible. <laughs> no, you like never play Lost City. What is the list and how do you play the deck? Well, the list is in the description and we can, I can throw it on screen here, kind of. It's very big. Um, how about the Dunsparce draw engine? I think it's okay. Uh, it's, <laughs> it, I don't think it's anything amazing, but it's all right. And if you want to learn to play the deck, watch the streams. I first was playing a list from, from Twitter. Which one? Wait, you can you're just trolling. Doogie is back. Four shock instead of four brunettes. No. <laughs> shock is terrible in that deck. Well, it's not terrible, but it feels not very good. But you kind of have to play it. Yeah. Okay, open list is PNG. It, but, it, but then it cuts a thing off. It like see I got you can even can you can't see it. <laughs> what does Lost even do? Nothing. That's the cool part. There is one luminous energy. I promise. Yeah. Speaking of raging bolts, the League Cup champion map for next quarter is raging bolt, and it goes kind of hard. So I might actually have to like play with a League Cup win map. I can't honestly tell if you're for real Blaziken or you're trolling. How's it feel without Artisan? Fine so far. Vac was actually clutch against that Zard. Like, it enabled the Cloth Loop because we were able to get rid of the Max Belts. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how, like, Lugia felt kind of inconsistent with, like, the OG build, like, the Auroras and stuff. Um... Then we had to, we, we degenerated to Burnett and we've like, <laughs> now we're playing Jock, that's all we have. Um, Rock Trolling is actually good. But like, it may help match us, but like, we don't need to win more. Like, that's the thing. Win, win, win more cards aren't good. Do you have a consistent bird control list without all these pile techs? The pile techs are what make bird control good. Like, if you, like, play, like, two lax and stuff, it's actually fairly consistent, also. Um, if you get rid of, like, the cloth and the wigglytuff and the things, you're just not as good. Just other than that, yeah, I agree, X. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to win one. Like, you should already be beating Lost Box decks. You should already be beating Charizard. Don't think of it beating Zard? What? Okay, you're trolling. You're 100% trolling. No way that's real. <laughs> Either trolling or you just don't know how to play this deck. It's, it's one or the other. Like, this was one of, like, the, the Zard we just faced was one of the more hostile Zard lists we could possibly see with, like, the 70 damage Charmeleon with Turo Pad. We still got the dub. Like, Zal yeah. Zard is literally your best matchup and, like, one of the reasons why you play this deck because you want to bully Jarizard. Did you come out to Kansas for a cup? I mean, Kansas, Kansas cups are kind of free. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What does Cloth do? When he gets hit by an attack, your opponent has to discard an energy, so... Um, can, can, like, just like that last game, it was pretty cool to a, a Penny Loop. Yeah, this deck's kind of a mess. You just gotta like kind of play it to get an understanding of it. You've been struggling against Zard, you're not trolling? Well, like, that must be an issue with how you're approaching the matchup then. It's not a problem with the deck, because like, I'm sure if we went over to the bird control, like, win rate up against Zard, not that this Zard's the best measuring stick, but like, that seems low at 62%. Like, that's what like Timmy's playing the, the deck. And some crazy teched out Zard lists. Great Dusk Mill 94%, bro. <laughs> Ancient Vox 90s or uh, 16 and 0. All oh, that is hilarious. 
I do not want to be the first control to lose to Ancient Box. That's not going to be me. Well, first of all, not many lists are playing all those cards, Blaziken. And, like, you can use, like, Luxray and Sisters and Airy to make it hard for them to have all those cards at once. Like, if they spend a vacuum to go KO your Mimic, you send it to the Lost Zone, they lose the Cloth Penny Loop. Like, the only game I've lost to Zard this format was, like, a full brick, literally. I still almost won. It, was, it came down to Iona to two, and they and I, and I was Chi, Chi Yu milling, and I had to basically mill one fire, and then, I, and then I won the game. But they drew Arvin Charizard to get... Vitality Bands, Candy, <laughs> the perfect two cards to beat me. Ancient Box of the BDIF. True. Yeah, you... Yeah, tr like, I didn't even think for a moment that I was going to trap that Rotom to win, to win the game. Okay, well then just cut the Wigglytuff then. I would, if I were to play the list, I would play this one. Uh, no, 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 I, gross, not that one. This one. This one's good. Kind of. Cleffa is still kind of untested. If you wanted to take out Cleffa for fourth, fourth Ultra Ball and second Iono, I wouldn't hate it. I, second Iono is kind of gas. But um, Cleffa was doing good in testing today, so I was like, okay. Yeah, I, if 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 block were our, like retreat locking were our win con against Zard, we'd be playing a ton more Snorlaxes and Erica's and stuff to try to achieve that win condition. But it was usually an easy way to win last format, but like you didn't have to. Like that's why I cut Echoing Horn last format. Club isn't just good for Tomb though, like all the hands that um, you have that are just like Arvin, where you could like Arvin for Nestball, Forest, Forest for Pidgey, and those hands feel kind of scuffed, so like you can Arvin for Poffin, for, for Poffin board, and you can just get the plus however many cards for your hand, and also um, save your V-Star power, not have a 2 prizer in play, have a free retreater active, um, It's like, it's pretty solid, I think. And yeah, it makes sure you're not just like kind of scooping early games to a spirit tomb. And we, and we play so many ultra balls anyway that like we can play down the hands. It's not that hard. I I, I really want to put back in the fourth ultra ball. Cause that card's pretty good. Really? The only deck is like Seed Pal can play into Retreat Lock. Future can play into Retreat Lock. There's no deck that I'm like, going right into that's like i have to win this game by using tempting trap a million times how's the mini on let me have clutch i played this up with gears and i hated it so we're <laughs> i've been on team fish ever since gears were making me so tilted that card was like not working for me so we're playing ultra ball fish now and it's broken Even my Zarda doesn't have Prime Catcher Maximum Belt. Well, good luck. I guess you could play Cape and Zard. <laughs> oh no, table one tied. Good. Okay. Well, I like him the Ultra Balls, like, going first to make sure I get my dudes. I like him turn two to find Pidgeot, turn two to help me get Arvin. It's, it's been really good. It helps me find, helps me find Wigglytuff. Like, there is the downside of having to discard cards. You don't have a ton of discardable cards with this deck. Oh. Came out of Max Builder, Prime Catcher for the trick this against Cub. And you can play Cape and Zard. To Bowen. 
Yeah, King's right. Like, against CPAO, they're kind of in a tough spot. Because, like, they have to kind of bench the barrel. So they can, like, play the game. And get through Wigglytuff. But if they do that, then you just win with Mawile. So they kind of can't do that. So, are we team out here? Definitely, but also... Now that we don't have Peonia to pull cards out of the prizes... I, like, Silene is needed to loop. Like, you have to release one Silene to be able to loop. So, like, if you, you'd be kind of cooked if you just had Team Yelchir in a game and you needed to infinitely have pennies or have a ton of pennies. So, Silene's, like, only, like, you could win games without, with, without Yelchir. You need to have at least one Silene, though, a lot of the time. You want to tell if Max is bad whether Pokemons are good? I don't know why <laughs> I have only like played this build so um baby luxury he 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 so broken got down paired to a C pow um prime catcher cologne double iono no bundle I love it when my opponents don't play iron bundle that card makes me sad okay only two rods they are playing cologne but that doesn't matter too much let's get it They're a teeny rank? That goes kind of crazy. Uh, let you know if you're playing the matchup right or not? I don't know how I do that. I guess if you like sent me a... Like told me what you were doing or like sent me a record or video of like a game that, that you play, I could, I could, um, I could tell. On one day is Luxray. It's really good early game against like Lost Box and Charizard because it kind of forces them to play the game and can get those. Um, I uh, just get 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 good cards out of their hands, um, but mainly up against Lost Box stuff and Charizard. All right, big, big teeny rank gamer. Always know which is in the Tusk. Yeah, they can't. Ancient decks when they can't bench um Greninja feel like even worse than they already do. And you also can just kind of use Chi Yu and Ma or Chi Yu and Luxray and bully them as well. So use Mimikyu plus Charm and keep gusting a charm that are forced to or treat one time. So I use Chi Yu if, if you get get the chance. Okay. Yeah, I'd say yeah, generally, yeah, that would be correct. Yeah, kind of, yeah, that would be what you what you want to do. But you, you don't usually open up with Mimikyu, though, because then they can wait in Evolving as RDX. Like, you want to, like, use either Chi or Luxray to get them to put down as RDX. It even can bait out Vacuum as well if you go, like, Charms, Lux. I don't like going second in this matchup. It's kind of scary. <laughs> this this, this Clavahan's about to go crazy. Y'all doubted Cleffa. Cards crack. And I don't even have to put board on Rotom. Like, this is kind of insane. Let's see if they bench the Bidoof right away. Attach. Is that... Do you have any Fridger backs? Because I wouldn't even have to go find Charm. An Earthen Vessel. <laughs> oh, now they are to Manaphy. Why didn't you want to bench Manaphy, dude? Come on. Am I sure what out of Orlando? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. I do have a Friggy. They were just hiding it from me. Okay. Wait, now they have three energy cards in hand. They, already, they just bench Doof. We don't even need Wigglytuff. All right, we're gaming. Lap off the top. This deck is nuts. Free up prize pop into good thing we don't think Gleffa. Okay, we have, we, have, we have to charm a Pidgey. Do we still like double Pidge? Just put charm on one. If they do ninja, we just like try to go Mawile, right? Like Mawile's in the deck. 
Yeah, that seems fine. I feel like I only lose this game if I don't set up. I mean, we, we could just go one and like bait prime straight away. Which is kind of interesting. Like, what are the odds that they have it like that? It doesn't give them a ton of crazy ninja value either. I do get an extra card though, which is also kind of good. Oh, I don't know. You know what? We'll just do it. I'm going to my regionals. I'm going to Orlando here in about a week or so. I'm going to Indianapolis and NAIC. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm just. <laughs> I'm still cooking over here. I do think Ursuline is pretty interesting. Like it's, it seems all right. I just. In my three games I played with the deck, I didn't like it, so I stopped playing it, and that was that. Okay, right, that's that's the goal. We're gonna try to do really, really well. But like, I'm not changing the list that much. Man, playing the Wiggly at EUIC though also goes kind of crazy. What does not go crazy is how mid my hand is. Yeah, that was kind of the issue when I was playing our saloon. I'd just be like looping and stuff, and they boss Teddy on the wrong turn. It's just like, well, I just lose. The meta is like one week apart. I don't think it will change that much. Like the people who are locked into turbo hands, even if it sucks, they might change cards within their deck, but I don't think they're probably going to like be like, I'm not playing turbo hands anymore. I'd flop to DUIC. You bought this deck. Let's go. I think I'm just gonna airy here. I like. Let's see. Hopefully we top deck Ultra Ball or Forest. Not even, not even Forest. Just Ultra Ball. Okay, that works too. So, what's the move then? It would be kind of. I chilled out like a Snorlax or something. Might just be. Is it just like Cape the Big Bird and Instant Charge? Like retreat back into Pidgey Instant Charge? I'm kind of cool with that. Or we could push up Mimikyu. Force them to go back into backs. Maybe make things a little harder for them. Yeah, I like that than like putting my other Pidgey um, potentially. Um under pressure but i guess prime on and then if they spend the prime we just start blocking uh okay that didn't really get me too far if they do get the pidgey this time i'm kind of in an awkward position might have been a might have been a miss but we'll see right, they did mention our friggy they kind of have to though otherwise we're just gonna <laughs> we can just rads are the one bats Oh yeah, Bl Blood Moon's gonna go hard in control. Like in in one in some build or another, it's it's gonna go hard. But it doesn't matter if the deck sucks, boys. People are still gonna play it. You still have to beat it. That's it's not like People, like, yeah, you, it's going to be a deck that's well represented. So you can't just like be like, I can't. <laughs> I'm just going to lose this deck if I face it. Are you saying, in my opinion? Actually, I feel so evil. It can be. How does Ursaluna win against Luki or Pal? I don't know. I've not played Ursaluna enough to know like what it does in a lot of matchups. Like, I played it some and it just did not feel very good so i stopped playing it <laughs> that was basically my um ursa luna um experience it was like ah they're gonna prime catcher me i misplayed all right let's go misplaying is good hey i, I just top deck 
Oh, this feels scuffed now. I very well could lose the game because I didn't go for the cape last turn. We did bait out the prime. And that's kind of good. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gregory. That was a pretty cool. Uh, Pidgeot can definitely beat hands. Okay. Well, this might just be. Is this like a hero cape mimic you kind of kind of angle here, just to buy some time? I think it probably is. Candy, we're close. Yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. That was hilarious. All right, we're gaming. No SERs for you, buddy. I I don't know, though. I was thinking about Zubat when I was, like, adding in the rescue board. But, like, how much we really interact with the opponent's hand. That Like, it, like if we don't have Erika's, we just have Airy. But it would, like, give us information to know if Luxray or Iona was good. Hey, congrats, Captain. That's sick. I'm not sure, like, if it's worth the spot in a deck like this. I mean, it wouldn't technically cost that much to fit it, but, like, is that getting the most value out of that slot? I mean, like, like the card doesn't suck, but it's is it good, though? <laughs> is, is, uh... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't think you need Erica in this deck. We're not winning by retreat lock that often, so we don't really need Erica. Yeah, it's like it doesn't suck. Like, how, like being able to know exactly what's in your opponent's hand is pretty good. But does it does it do more than another potential card that that you could play? Because that isn't game, it isn't that game changing information to have, I guess. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're, we're definitely winning tonight. We're not um not facing bad matchups, not not breaking. The clef is in here. We have the sauce. We have the we have the go to grasping draw. What is the optimal clef of art? Is it the art rare from um whatever they said it was first in obsidian or whatever? Or is it the shiny? There's 200 your shields in the discard. True. <laughs> Zubat is it's very mid. Lord is best? Okay. Like everything else in my, in my deck is shiny. I like having shiny cards. See my player has to be tilted after that area for sure. They gave me the thumbs up emoji. I know they're tilted. <laughs> I know they're very tilted. Hail Blade, my, my Mimikyu. This kind of sucks for them. And they like have to hard retreat when they're already down a lot of energies. And then they have to load up back. I play an SDR to load up backs. And then I just win the game by pulling up a barrel next turn. I kind of like having a shiny though and matching everything else in, in my deck. Now, I'm a basically min rarity scrub IRL, so it doesn't matter. But PCG Live, like, I can pretend like I have shiny cards and I I feel very good. Why, why, why do I have gold DTEs? They're not, they don't match my uh, min rarity kind of stuff I have going on here. I don't know. Yeah, we just win. Yes, we don't need Defiance. We don't need Vacuum. We get the big bird. We get to quick search for the mall while. Oh wait, is there a pre-release promo? Pre-release promos are pretty tough. And we actually could, could, could beat them by spreading energies as well and I win faster. So that's kind of a dub. Give 
give me the beaver. Do I need a power pad? Because they do play double Iono. Not yet. Alright, broken. Nah. Bundle Blast Candies? Not it. I wish I could play with with my uh, Holland Phantoms candies on here. I'm going to need to get the EX Emerald uh, Fighting and Fire Energy, though. Those energies are so tough. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just like if I'm gonna like bling a spot, I like having hollow energies for some reason. It just like makes me feel important or something. All right, enjoy your counter catcher. But I would like to have all four supporters so I can say that I am better at prize checking with my full arts. I can have an excuse to spend money on my deck because I can. It will make me better at the game. <laughs> I need an excuse for myself. All right, cool. Yay! Cards in the discard pile. Probably should have just played Silenian, but it's okay. Right, this person did tie last round to a bird control, so we want to be careful and not let that happen again. Um, let's see how many, how much time's left. Still 17 minutes, 12 cards in deck, and I don't have to do too much, so we're, we're kind of chilling. I have to grab my IRL deck, but I know oh I guess I could pull them up here and I'm like, yeah, I could I could get it. They, they, they hit heads, okay. Are they on triple candy? No. But also, okay, we <laughs> that top deck goes pretty hard. Now we can like drag up uh what's that called? We can drag up Raiding Greninja. And yeah, they have to commit their remaining couple energies there. I mean, they do get, end up back in the uh, discard pile. Wait, and it two hits. That's actually kind of cracked. I, d I don't own Unleashed Candies though. They're pretty dope, but I don't have them. So of course the ones that I own are optimal. <laughs> Having un Owning Unleashed Candies would go pretty crazy. If I, if I do mill their other candy, I can pull up the Frigibacks and just win on the spots. They're not, not feeling the Iron Hands this game. Rip. Just use top 32 and use the money for them? Nah, there's money. <laughs> I would use top 32 money to go to more regionals. Then, um... Oh, they just committed the candy. So if they Moonlight Shuriken, I just pull up the backs and they lose. What are my bad matchups with this deck? Uh, my least favorite matchups to go up against are Arctina and Future Hands. Really anything else I'm, I, I don't have complaints into. And Spirit Tomb. I despise Spirit Tomb. See guys, it was all because Cleffa just broke this game open. Like, being able to retreat into Cleffa, grasping draw broken y'all didn't trust cleffa <laughs> i can't even really like iono now and deny deck out we're getting pretty close though okay that's no i was gonna say we deck out with iono but no they only have three prizes. i was thinking they had six that would have been pretty funny I only use Chi Yu. Almost, Larry. Almost. If they play a couple more cards, then yes. There's an SER. For level one <laughs> lightning edge. Wait, we could now. We don't have we don't have the uh, combo in hand though. Sad. Um uh, almost there though. We can get it for next turn. 3-1, nice. Alright, cool. 
Tywin, broken heart. I'll just put sisters back on top just, just to kind of scare him a little bit. Make him just feel feel uneasy. And set the trap. Three and one. Nice. Oh no. We can do the play. Ah, uh, but that'll be price to you. We can do the play. No. Oh, wait, and 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 heavy ball. Been used. Rib chat. We can't do the play. Oh no. We prize heavy ball and she you. Very sad. And they have no items left. Where are their other two waters? Tylene hates me. What are you talking about? Tylene despises me. Oh, the waters were in their hand. Oh, of course, of course. So they 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 moonlight shuriken, but they can't ever attack again. We just boss up the backs. Contempt. Wait, no, no, no. We, we just Iono. Iono just for the... For the memes. We did it. <laughs> Yay! Broken. Laugh it carried. <laughs> Take that, all you Cleffa doubters. Cleffa carried. Broken. So six rounds to be no seven rounds. Since it can be double ID, but no. Unfortunate. So what all is chilling it for? No, another C pow. Future hands. Mm. But and with the leaves. Oh but they, they they play no switches though. They have psychic energies but no switches. Why well, can't it why in search you can draw save seven? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm liking it for now. I'm not not sold that it's 100 percent better, but it I like it. But they can they can swing with their crowns. That's that's kind of an issue. What do I do? A break control versus lax? We um knock out their chi you. And they can't really get it back. So there's a future hands, there is a C pow, there is a classic block. Yo, with the lambent and the chandelier. And the patrol cap, there's so much sauce. And Prime Catcher as their A spec, please, dude. Hero Cape is so good. <laughs> Who let this bio get to 4 0? Dude, chandelier eats up eight slots in your deck. That seems horrible. Wow. And only one pal pad uh, and two Arvins. This deck seems like an insanely big pile. <gasps> wow. What have they faced? Oh, okay, a couple Zards and Future. That would kind of help. And Spite Up Spent Along. What does Shane the Lure do? Mills the top three cards of your deck when you evolve it. Troll Cat. Hey, good thing we have the vacuum. <laughs> so, two really good matchups and one kind of not so good matchup. Yeah, I, I, I see the vision. But it's just like... This, this is this really just better than like I can play Chi Yu a couple fires and have like five more slots in your deck. Do I win with, with Chi Yu? Probably. Pokemon Weegage Q. 
in, in like the deck that I play or this deck? Like uh, this deck plays HQ, but I don't really want it in, in my deck. Because I, I, I have basics I like to attack with. I guess I wouldn't have to drop them. But like seems kind of seems kind of mid. Two matches left. Tina Mirror. Sorry, BC Pal. Let's see what's doing good in the, in the other tournaments as well that are happening right now. Um, there's like that one Tusk and two other. Is there someone with, with a deck in other odds? It's this deck. People have been like playing this deck lately and I still kind of don't see the vision. Like, how is this ever better than just like regular? Okay, like, I, I okay, the Charizard kind of cool for the Lugia matchup. But why Max Belt? <laughs> are we are we Control or are we Zard? I don't know, and I'm kind of confused. Or my thoughts on on Ditto and Artina? Um, I don't think it's great. Like, there's probably a better 60th card, like just another Ball Surge card or a supporter. Dang. Okay, so there was. That was that one tournament and what if we look at the the other one that's like almost over it is uh there's seven rounds dang look at those 5-0 decks though nice arc vulpix snorlax thaw raging bolt and guardy so what's in this arc vulpix deck arc vulpix aerodactyl Poppy Ninjas, Salvatore, Sauce. Interesting. What are the beats? A bit of everything. Okay, that's interesting. There's a Raging Bolts. It's Bull Palkia. So beautiful. With the other Sandy Shocks. One Energy, one Shot Mimikyu. Seems pretty good. Lost your team, Devo, and C Pow. What? Does Tough Soul ever win by prizes? All the time. Yeah, it all the time. It feels like you win more games than before with with uh, prizes than you did about pre rotation. So there's a stall. Regular old stall. Is there an earthen vessel in here? <laughs> earthen vessel and stall. Let's go. And that there's a Gardevoir. The usual Guardy suspects. <laughs> Just gotta play around Team Devo and CPAO next time. Why would they even play that? Like, you already should be okay in Dazard. <laughs> it's a secret CPAO mirror attack. You ninja both their backs and then you Devo. Wow. <laughs> you can't find it at all. You can't ear to for it. You can't focus out for it. That seems terrible. Too much sauce. Um, any other fun gaming things happening here? Damn, quite a few people with good records dropping. So the the tusks. The Tusk? Oh, oh four and one Tusk gaming. Is a search for you just top deck it? Yeah, I know, right? Just get good and top deck it. Try to actually all the gimmicks on my deck. There are a few of them. I feel like going for a seven and oh tonight, chat. I don't feel like IDing. I feel like winning is good. Like losing is just not good. So let's just not do it. Zard with the airy Devo sauce, okay. And Minior, oh, they're cooking. Who needs to play more Nest Balls and more Poffins and more Ionos and more Arvins when you can play airy Devo, Switch, Turo, and Roxanne, and the wrong Pidgeys. Everything is wonderful. 
<laughs> oh, these Zard players need need to not cook anymore. You need to be banned from the kitchen. You faced that Zard? Was it the one that you faced earlier? Did we already mention this one? Oh yeah, maybe we did. Why is Ari Diva specifically good? Um, it's cool in Mirror and versus Sea Pal. Uh, it's hard for Seepow to hold all their SERs and all their candies. Same same kind of deal on Mirror. And also, just Aerie is really good against Lost Box. Like, if I were playing Pidgey's art right now, I'd play Aerie in it. Because you can just find it with, with Pidgey out whenever you need it. I think, yeah. Charizard's pre pretty good. <laughs> I would, I'd, I'd definitely be playing Aerie Devo. I'm kind of concerned about how the Guardy beats control matchup goes. Like that, like it wasn't that amazing before, and now we don't have any Snorlaxes, and they like are playing Hurlpad, which is always sketchy. See, I don't know if you're just like a prize, like you just play like a prize trade deck in this matchup. Like you just like try to use your big Pokemon, vacuum away like when they try to respond. Um, just, like share and with itself, like that kind of stuff. Like I. That might be the way you go. Winning with, with, with Retreat Lock seems tricky. Like, even if they do bench a Reading Greninja or a Manaphy, like, are spreading all their energies out too seems pretty hard. So, Top Cut? Yes. Not usually for like the. This is a different than usual Monday Night Tournament. The usual Monday Night one doesn't, but we're not doing that one. That, that would be cringe. I said I wanted to win tonight, and I didn't feel like beating, uh, 188 other people, so I decided, like, you know what, let's beat 68 other people. I seem like too much work to beat that, uh, all those other people. So, two good matchups, one not too good matchup, but I do kind of want to see how the future deck, how, with some of the changes that we made, our deck interacts with future. This is kind of a more clunky build of a future. There's no carts. Um, they're going to have lower generator odds than usual. So yeah. This seems this seems winnable. Yeah, we saw that king. I would I would love to face that deck. There's also like a sea pal that's up here too that isn't playing any kind of They're playing Kyogre, which I guess is annoying. Because uh, I can punish Charmed Pidgey. So that's something. So we probably have to go double Pidgey one with Charm. We hit the future hands, okay. But we'll see how, how this goes. Um, yes, the we did want to face future tonight just to see how the how the changes wins. Yeah, I, I wish I would have faced the, the Chandelure block deck. But, no. We'll just have to beat, um, we'll have to beat the other thing inside Future Hands. I was testing this matchup earlier today, and it didn't feel that bad. And, but the, and also playing against the list, I was playing Switch cards and stuff. Sometimes play Vacuum, which could be troublesome. It seems like most Future lists have started playing Vacuum. Um, so that's kind of bad. All right. Dude, life, you just... Okay. Sometimes I don't know about TCG Live. This game doesn't like to work. <laughs> Another Tito? Uh-oh. It's fine. Tina's free. Trust. So yeah, up against future. So we want to wiggly tough as soon as possible. Uh, we want to yeah, go like wiggly tough, try to take as many prizes as we can, and then pot potentially try to close the game off with Claw or Radzard or even both. Sort of have to just hope that they 
don't like if they can just gust the bird quickly sometimes these these games just are uh, chalked but like we also have that vacuum so it could be hard for them to we won the flip that's massive could be hard for them to to get multiple hands built up I, I, it's good we're going first or we're going second this this um this cleft angle does not go that hard so we're not going to do it <laughs> i we're holding the candy but that's about it they opened my ride on so lucky attach the capsule it paid hard bro it's so unfair future got a key battle vip pass and everything else lost it it's not fair yeah they just got crowns are they gonna try to win this game without him oh, okay okay <laughs> seems real good i don't really want to iono them then We might have to. What other options do we have? Call for family goes. How how hard does call for family go? This could just be Cleffa. This could be Fang Snipe, which could go mid. <laughs> let's see. Let's do this. Like, what if I just retreat, or I just penny back up it in into, or, yeah, retreat back into Rotom and in just instant. I don't want a penny into it. I don't want to burn a DTE. Yeah, as bad as it feels, I think we, we played penny. I don't know. That also feels kind of weird. Um. All right, gaming. Don't like benching Luminion in this matchup. Local and one with 3 0 at locals with a VVP. I'm gonna one of Comfy for the jokes. Hey, what a legends. Absolute legends. It's all for the fish and penny hit for next turn. Then my Pidgey just dies. I mean, okay, then, then we call. It's not the worst, I guess. Um, But it's, yeah, it's still kind of mid. So I do get the hands loaded up, kind of. Might be a fang snipe next turn, honestly. Um, what's kind of cool about the escape board is it does um, let us use... Uh, yeah, it means we don't have to use our pennies to switch out our Pokemon all, all the time. Yeah, I think I like want to... Like Luxury and getting Prime or Boss or something would be pretty good. And they couldn't necessarily one hit us back. So yes, they just attach one each. Loading for the sparking strike. Rescue board, okay. So Arvin gets us forest seal stone, gets us nest ball. I want to make sure luxury's in there. I think it was, but I can't remember for certain. Yeah. Okay. Rescue board goes hard. Make sure we do not force the road top. <laughs> That'd be so such a new move. Alright, and then do we just like want to get the jigglypuff on the board as well with the uh, quick search? Just quick search for puff and for jigglypuff. That seems okay. We have the have the DT and the charm and the board and all that already, so yeah, it seems good. Thinning is winning as well. And they potentially don't have a great response to this. Let's see. Hopefully they don't just have like two boss in hands. Well, I'll take that Arvin. Their hand kind of sucks now. Okay. Because Arvin could have been, been prime, so he didn't want did not want that to happen. 
Now we could maybe boss up a crown and trap it because uh, we don't have to commit this capsule uh, preemptively. It gets fang sniped. I mean, that may buy us enough time to get Wigglytuff going. They retreat to the hands. Engine other hands. Capsule the hands. A big arm press. So I kind of do like that boss idea. And top tick energy is pretty crazy as well. Alright. Do this. Do this. Um, might not. Uh, there's at least a baton in the hands. Maybe something else. Yeah, just a lightning energy. So, okay. They topped again on the lightning energy. That's what they what, what happened last turn. Lightning to the bench. And pass. So. We have a couple different ways we can go with this. I sort of like Penny. Penny and just do it again? Or just Penny and stick this thing back up with the charm on it, but then just attach to the Whippy Tough and instant charge. That could just be the move. Because the card in hand is not likely anything very good. But I could want to thanks up again next turn, so. 155 is crazy. <laughs> I, I think that's the most ever. That is nuts. Yeah, we just have them hand locked right now. Let's go ahead and rip this sisters. Lost Vac is pretty nice. Alright, let's go get ourselves the Wigglytuff. I'm just going to press instant charge again. Chi Yu, okay. That could be another angle. Like just charmed Chi and start milling. Tell the research, alright, they drew out of it. See what they can come up with. Jen. That's a whiff. They only have that one capsule left, so. Um, they didn't, they don't have Prime. Hmm. Hey, what if I just, well, I, I can't do both, actually. Um. Boston for the now. We're just gonna get punched next turn. Let's get a fang snipe in here so that hopefully they can't um boss next turn. Alright, let's go. Could try to establish the second bird too. I don't hate it actually. Yeah. Oh, I didn't play supporter. I'm such I'm such such, such a Timmy. I thought I put. <laughs> Hands still sucks. Yeah, future hands just does not. <laughs> the gens are just fake. Generators copium. Top deck boss. Oh my goodness. What an elite gamer. Absolute legends. Well, okay. Now we lose to another boss. So do we airy peek the hands? We also could win with like Maw Wild Looping. Dude, okay. Well, well, all right. <laughs> they ripped boss off the prizes. Calm down. <laughs> Let's pull back up. 
an iron crown. Let's fang snipe. Let's get rid of that boss. Now they only have prime left. But prime does win them the game. Psychic. Wait, now Mawile wins. They just look. Oh, no, wait, Prime. Um, but. Okay. Now, we still always Mawile, though. We just have to mill the Prime Catcher. Okay. This is this is fine. Now we have, we have, we have to to play Penny, so we can do the thing. Oh, I'm sure. This is scary, but. It's pretty okay. They should have attached lightning before they committed the psychic. Don't have it yet. Sisters. We win. We hit the prime. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Future's free, Chad. I'm telling you. <laughs> Um, seven, eight, nine, twelve. We almost could win by a ch just going chi. Let's go. Luxury in this matchup is 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 key. Like you just gotta be able to take apart there, and then they top deck the gear. Broken. Sisters is the truth. Get that future capsule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they they definitely overcommitted their psychic energies. Like they should not have. I guess it still wouldn't have mattered because they had three crowns on the board. But it made it easier. Made it so I had to worry about getting sisters back rather than getting penny. Probably should just play fast and use Tempting Trap over and over again. <laughs> Silene's fake. It's okay. I'd rather Silene be fake than Sisters be fake. I think we still have a lot of time as well that like, even if I don't think that they could possibly really slow play. Yeah, still 17 minutes. And they played two Ionos. And uh, one is gone. Broken. Come on, Silene. Be nice, please. Just give me one. I really don't like you, Silene. You're not very nice. Silene is just not a very kind person. Bro's not very generous. Does not want to give me any of those pal pads. Very rude. Actually, I just draw a tempting trap every single turn. We just win. I'd be kind of terrified in this spot IRL. It's like, <laughs> they would be, uh, I'd be like trying to spam sisters and just see if they had cards. But um, they do not, so. Oh no, has the slow playing commenced? Are we gonna try to make this game last 17 minutes? I'm down. Let's do it. Come on. All right, well. That's right. We just draw and tempt. Friendship with Silene. <laughs> yeah. Who needs Silene when you have the Misfortune Sisters? Hey, Iodo. All right. Like big hands. Very sad.
Eight more turns, chat. We got this. Three, seven, nine, 11, 12. It's fine. <laughs> it it would be funny if we can get to the point where we could like chi you, but I don't think that can actually happen. The generator? Generator's real. Wow. Rare generator W. Six, ten. Um wait. Did, 14. Oh, they still have two left. So they can put one, one, one each on here and here. And we, we, we couldn't go for the extra aggro win con. Rip. It's okay. Venting Trapped is still good. The grass energies. Imagine they would have saved a bench spot for Iron Leafs to come in here and nuke Mawile. But they kind of have to bench the second hands out of respect for the Wigglytuff. Like, you know, Wigglytuff didn't do any damage this game. It got them to bench the second hands. Bench lock out of Iron Leaves so we can maul out. So, W. And yeah, almost, almost time to uh, Jealously Singe. It's getting close. The Arvin. Hold up. Ooh, we could. But now we can go Iono Chiyu, right? Yeah. And it's conceded. Wonderful. Future Hands is free, chat. Future Hands is totally free. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about. Who said this matchup was hard? Free. Let's go. Okay, so next round we're gonna be up against the crazy block pile and we're we're playing it out. We're going for seven now. No ideas. <laughs> Trying to go for the full 10 0. We're getting it. Gonna be a beautiful um Yeah, our deck's actually working though, which is was kind of not happening yesterday. One for seven on Silene today. So I think it's been kind of fake. What's that first playing? They're playing the Zard. Bibzard. So kind of gross. Oh, Bibzard with one switch, one jet. We're cooking. Is Gouging Fire a good deck? Yes or no? I think Gouging Fire is viable, but I don't know how viable that is. It's probably all right. I like guess. That's a, that's a, that's like pretty good online win rates and it has it like thailand's um uh win so i don't think it sucks i think it's like better than people people think it is but i don't know how like like what the actual potential of the deck is so we're gonna face this jank block deck next round um All kinds of crazy stuff going on. So this would totally farm to you. Yeah, Zard and uh, Zard and Sea Power do seem difficult. Yeah, Troll Cat. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff happening here. Hand Trimmer, the Patrol Cap, the Prime Catcher, as the A spec. Only two Arvins. But but they're also five and zero, oh. so we'll see who is the, who is the better better alternate win condition deck. That's kind of yeah. <laughs> Bax is a broken attacker. Yeah, so seems, like you have to like max spell. You have to do, do like max spell Moltres it like baby Moltres or max belt and Iron Valiant pig. I feel like the deck would really like Prime Catcher, but you kind of can't to. Be okay in Desert. Four one, nice. You actually beat the beat, beat the Athena. Big congrats. Maybe Morpha seems good. The Iron Hands is there a little extra sauce in there. And Penny. Oh, this is the one that a Blaziken was not happy about. I want to see a block like our hand trimmer go four zero. It's right there. It's literally five zero right right in front of us. 
hey, we take those blazes. Or we take those king. <laughs> we take those. Deck is broken. Because patrol cap wasn't real when it came out. Like nothing milled, so it was. Um, it was not real. <laughs> I know it's a mess. What does the chandelure do when you evolve into it? Mill the top three. So you can like Turo, and stay blocking, but also be 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 roasting. Optimal sleeve color for Pidgeot control. So I have a pack of yellow katana that I've been saving for a special occasion. I think that special occasion will be Orlando. But also I do turquoise katanas are kind of clutch. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, why do you Cleffa? Uh, because it makes your opening hand smoother. And also makes it so we don't just get uh, beat up by by tomb the tunnels are very base why yellow because yellow is a freaking dope color i bought like the yellow dual mats and like they look really sick and they just shuffle like garbage <laughs> so um yeah i'm not a dragon shield fan I mean, Jet Dragon Shields used to go hard, but like, I don't like playing the, uh, the uh, Dragon Shield Lottery. But I, I have like all kinds of, I have like, I know I have a pack of black sleeves, I have dark blue, I have turquoise, I have yellow, and I might have a pack of white still. Or I gotta try dual specs. Dragon Shield Quality Control? I haven't got a chance to yet, Ashley. Dragon Quality Control sucks. <laughs> you yellow fruit. Become a yellow enjoyer. I've never had a bad box of katanas. To be fair, I have not used them for that long, but I've never heard of someone saying that they have like a box of katanas just shredded out of the box or bent or not the same color. Um X2 might make cut. Yeah, I just don't like playing the uh, Dragon Shield Lottery and hoping to get my, uh, hoping to not light $14 on fire. How do you beat Lugia with this deck and why two Silene? Lugia at the line is either try to KO both Archeops and then with Wigglytuff and then knock out with other Wiggly. Use Wigglytuff to knock out both Archeops and then knock out their final Chinchino with either Razzard or Cloth. Or alternatively, you could go and knock out all their Chinchinos, so... They don't have any big attackers left, and then you just try to penny loot cloth and Chiyu until they run out of uh, until they run out of energies or attackers or whatever. Double Silene is because you need Silene to stay infinite. One to, like when you prize one, it sucks. So I just want two to protect um, around prizing. Tons are sus. I need to try dual specs. <laughs> dual specs, please send me a free pack. I will, um, I'll rep them. I've heard good things about them, but I'm cheap. And I still have like six packs of katanas here at home. So I'm just like, I'm not going to buy more until I need them. Yeah, like I've, I've never, I've heard a lot of people just say like they use them like all day, like all 14 rounds and they had no splits or bent corners or anything. And it's just like, okay, they, that was sound pretty good. But, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> please sponsor me. Just kidding. Oh yeah. And dragon shields feel kind of stiff too. So, so bridging them kind of is mid. Yeah, but like bridging is pretty base though. Like <laughs> real gamers bridge their cards. What is um, what is main condition? We just bridge our cards and their bends increased. It it doesn't matter. Bizarre versus future, only gamers still still going. Just bust the fourth Norlax. It's over. Let's go. Yeah, 
it does feel kind of sus. I like I bought that box of dual mats. I like literally like two rounds of my cup. They were already like had bent corners. Like it was kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, no sleeves of the split, and I've I still used them for like, I played with them for that whole cup. I use them for IRL testing for like the last week, but like. <laughs> yeah, they got bent super fast. I was not pretty happy. And one thing that's kind of cringe about sleeves is they like, sell you a hundred in a box. And like no one needs a hundred sleeves. Like it's they they make you pay for more than like what you like pay more for stuff you don't even need. It's kind of like kind of cringe. And that's my biggest beef with the uh, sleeve industry. It's for magic. Oh, for like side deck and stuff. Okay. Okay. See, as someone who only plays Pokemon, I don't get these things. <laughs> okay but if you bought a box of 100 and you split one that would be kind of sad 100 card decks okay now now i know other 40s for glc there we go we're glc gaming oh pre-release okay yeah, there you go yeah perfect i spent i spent two dollars extra for the extra 40 sleeves so i can spend another extra 25 bucks and probably in a, play a pre release with them. <laughs> let's go only towards side decks in pokemon wow okay <laughs> didn't that happen at like a regional last year where toward like played with like a collab stadium that he didn't have and like even play with it on stream Thought I remember hearing about that. That was pretty, pretty based. Like, <laughs> pre releases are cringe. I agree. I went to my first pre release for Paradox or for Temporal Forces. Um, I haven't been to a pre release since Fusion Strike. And my pulls were garbage. And I didn't get the future stuff out of the pre release kit. So we were just cooked. We were not gaming. 15 out of 15, let's go. So, yes, yeah, so we're gonna face this, uh, we're gonna face the Ajank stall list, dude. That's not it. That's it. See our ace specs and still on zero. Rip. Luckily, I, I own a hero's cape. So, um, <laughs> I know what I'm doing with it. I don't know. I pulled a reboot pod from my pre release. We, 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 we were gaming. A max build? Not, not bad. You literally could just like play like the four Maridons that you pull from your deck and four energies and you literally won the entire pre-release. It was kind of crazy. Alright, let's get it. No, no ID. We're going for the whole 10 -0. IDs are cringe. We got max belts. Three heroes cape? What? How do you have three capes or three pre-releases? Oh yeah, the future kit was was crazy. Like I pulled the for alligator one. I some the for alligator matang one. I still somehow won two games. I literally skill diffed in on pre-release to just win two games, but I couldn't beat uh, future the last round. Do I not ID IRL? Not ID IRL, it's just for online. <laughs> just for this online sprint, because I feel like going 10-0. It feels like the uh, vibe.
Yeah, for Alligator was just... I don't know, the Matang was pretty bad though too. <laughs> if you just got the evolving Pokemon, you were cooked. Big basics are meta even in pre-release. I like that like so many people were like playing Aerie in the pre-release decks and there's like no items. Yeah, Mariah, like the ancient and future is too fast. And for alligator could only swing like every other turn. So like <laughs> you 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 nuke, but then you have to take a turn off, and the future players already beat you by that point too. So Alright, let's get it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I just like Turbo Chi Yu. As long as my uh what's it called isn't prized. My lost vac, I just get rid of the patrol cap. They do have like double league HQ, which is kind of sus. Ah man, we lost the flip. What was the fourth promo? It was Maridon, Coridon for Alligator Matang. <laughs> if Relegator was garbage. I pulled I even pulled a gouging fiery egg, so I was like, ah, oh, we're kinda gaming. But that card was also not very good. Because there's like no switches in format, so you got kinda cooked. 37 guards, bro cheated but still went 3-0. Oh man. Pepe kinda popping off at a peer releases. I think I think you stole all of everyone else's polls. Okay. Is there any kind of like no? There's no Yakumo, so this Luminous Energy is just free. Uh, we have Pidgeots. We have Candy Bee in the back. We price Fire Energy, which is mildly annoying. Um, but I think we can manage. We have price a Candy, which also could be kind of weird. All right, we did pull a rare candy. What's up, Zid? Oh yeah, we have the have the, have the uh, forest seal stone. So cool. Forest long two buddy falfin with the seventy HP or less today. Zatu is spathrical Dengo ex broken deck. How's my day been? It's been pretty good. I, I literally hadn't been to a pre-release since Fusion Strike, so no. <laughs> Pop in for a couple Litwicks. That this aggro mill is kinda scary. Also like airy and stuff. There's definitely things going on here which kinda scare me. I'm pretty sure I just go like airy here and try to get rid of some of their good cards. Because it is sort of hard for them to chain those uh, Litwicks and stuff. Oh, I can't retreat. I have to play boss. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, we'll just pass. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. That is mildly annoying. So you keep bossing up my thing. What is this? I don't know. I can't tell. I got, I couldn't tell you. Do I just like knock out the Litwicks ever? It's a lot of mills that they could potentially do. I wonder if I ever do that. I don't know. And we're just going to start milling. This, this matchup uh, seems kind of bad. No, it's not. It's... I can't use Chi Yu then because the silly HQ. No. <laughs> No. 
Oh shoot! I'm like, oh yeah, this is so easy. We just, oh my goodness, I forgot again. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. It's so funny. Oh man. Well, no, because I put down, because they put HQ down, I attached that extra energy. I guess it, it might be a. Uh, Fang snipe kind of vibe. This is like kind of scary. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm too good at this game. I'm too cracked at Pokemon. Yeah, I, I, I get it now. I understand now. But y'all could have reminded me like a couple minutes ago and that would have been really sick. Okay, sure, I guess. I don't really know what to do now. I'm uh, rather troubled. I have to touch the uh, basic fighting. It's, it's, it's all right. We can still get there. Rip. We got this one now, chat. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, luxury is kind of clutch. Oh, are they gonna paint active? Oh, you're so mean. It's okay. I'll put the mist on. The <laughs> I'll put the mist right there. It's okay. Fire's prized. That'd be too easy. That'd be a little too easy. That's all right. We um, Penny tried sniping. We can't even. Wait, did I press double side lead also? Oh no, hand. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm a disaster. I'm a disaster. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I kind of don't like them just picking up that chin the chandelier over and over again. So we're going to make it so that can't happen. For uh That's pretty ridiculous. Oh no! I should have probably bench locked actually, so they couldn't have Erica'd me. That's rude. I guess they still could boss, right? They they do play boss. Or they don't play boss. Oh yeah, I should have just done that. I'm goofy. So yeah, there's like zero downside to doing that. All right. I don't know. Pokey gear is kind is, is kind of sketch. Um, luminous energy because it can be fire energy. It could be a psychic energy. Um. But it could just be a basic fire energy instead. And that might be better. I just kind of like having the option of ghost eye. Um, <laughs> that's via capability, but I don't know if that's ever actually good. All right. Yeah, because now like there were, we're fang sniping and stuff. Hard for them to ever go to patrol cap. That goes crazy. I think next turn we uh, we uh, play Iono and try to get them to draw their Silene or Turo or other important cards. Um, and also we just like probably don't quick surge, so the stuff stays at the bottom, so it never gets milled. And we just vac up the patrol cap as well. See you later, Mimikyu. 
that we missed. <laughs> the patrol cab. Alright. I like it. There we go. So now they're in a tricky spot. Applies what uh, the ones that we would use Mimikyu. Um, punching Charizard sounds kind of neat, or a Charmeleon maybe. Now Rod gets some more cards. I don't actually ever care if they have lost vacuum, or could get them more cards back in the deck. Fortune. All right, now we can quick search again. Don Triple Penny. That's kind of sad. I'm no longer down Triple Penny. Okay, let's let's get it. <laughs> let's start milling. Next turn, though. Uh, back, I guess. Things I've kind of broken. Is there a good uh, signals line when you're in a Mawile trap? Yeah, so I just went out of their switches and stuff. Is when you start when you want to use Mawile. Okay, let's let's just start milling. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I guess we could have gone boss board as well, but nah. Boss board might have actually been the uh, move. Yeah, it's fine. Singe. Oh, we hit the yell cheer. That's pretty cracked. That probably just won us the game. Time to mill the Miller deck. Yeah. Whereas with DT Luminous and Boss, but still one because Pokey Stop is a lie. <laughs> Let's go. Pokey Stop just does not exist. Airy is slightly scary now. Um, so we probably. I probably just try, try to. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty good. I was going to say, we probably just try to use Silene. I like Silene. Silene's pr pretty good. And this gets a shuffle the deck as well, so. Um, yeah, that seems pretty, pretty fine. Could be a boss as well, maybe. So they couldn't, like, try to trap my Pidgeots. And I'm just going to grab this Silene just so, like, maybe maybe this t uh, baits them into playing Airy. But, like, there's nothing here for them. Andrew is still available? That's fine. I, I have plenty of discardable cards. Let's keep milling. <laughs> Miller versus Miller Light. For sure. All right, the Turo. Oh yeah, that's right. They weigh three Turos. Three Turos, double Chandelure. Mountain Roasting. Hit a Penny, that's annoying. And my Escape Board. Oh, they use Instant Charge. Oh, oh, because they milled Penny, they can, they can do that. Rude. Like get the pal pad back. And then we we quick search for something other than than the pad. Do we care if they get rid of one pad? Like if they air you for it, who cares? We probably only lose if they get like us insanely lucky sisters. Three candies down now. Honestly, hand probably hurts them more than it hurts us. So, and it's a charge. Silene's pretty good. Um, actually, I don't have any pal pads down, so Silene's not pretty good. Uh, but we can we can still do it. 
Dragon Pal Pad, Silene, or Penny Silene, I mean. Same thing. Silene. That's your cape for the memes? Nah. Silene's so good. And now since we're smart, we did we never misplay. Misplaying is this bad. Okay, good, they can see. I was gonna ultra ball shuffle the deck so it wasn't still stuck on top. <laughs> that was scary for a minute. That was scary. Read your own cards though. Reading is good. Um Okay. The uh, Tenno is still possible. Imagine we face King here across next round. That would go hard. <laughs> Reading cards does explain the card. Right, I'll remember that. <laughs> the tough, yes. Tough is broken. A lot of skill. Well, that magic was just so favored that like I can afford to make mistakes. I don't think that was necessarily a testament to my own skill. This is like a fav a super favorable matchup. Oh yeah, I'm going for the 10 now. There's me no IDs, King. What's I cook this time? It's the same Wibbly Tough sauce. Except now we have the broken Cleffa. Cleffa just cracks this deck. Don't read cards by future hands. Alright, sounds good. Nothing makes this deck overpowered. Um, yeah, there's the full list. You can tell it's just real because it has half a card at the bottom. That's real decks have half. I think this deck has like 28 one ups. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 20, 27, 28, 29 one ups. Brad's art is both. <laughs> it's it's good. And it kind of feels needed. Oh. 29 one ups, nearly half the deck. I I I thought of playing GLC, but I just made half of my deck GLC. This deck is in fact 29 one ups. Quick search is pretty good. <laughs> King Cross, let's go. Scott here, have I missed a stadium bump? No, because I still have a stadium bump. It, we, we, it just became an item instead of a uh, stadium. Really liking this list. I, I like this more than the Buffalo version for sure. Um, yeah, this is pretty gas. Really, just Temple is the only one that like feels kind of bad that we would want to bump. And that's not really played in a lot of decks either. And I guess Lost City sometimes, Pokestop, but nothing that like would go too crazy, I guess. There, but there are a lot of good tools we want to get rid of. Aggro control. Uh, it's it's still control. Just the best way to remove resources from in play is to knock them out. And it will never not be knocking them out. Just because it can take all its prizes and, and win. Let's not make it not a control deck. Um. Well, in the Buffon builds... When we, when we had no other big attacking option, playing the second movie stuff was optimal. Uh, because pricing it felt disgusting. But now that we have the Razard and have another big hitter, it feels less missed if it's prized. Scuff have been good, yes. Are we gonna see Buffon in the future, potentially? But right now in this current metagame, Razard feels better. I really Boof only like carries hard against ancients and it <laughs> Body is ancient, but like ancient's not real. Sorry, all you Dino Box enjoyers, your deck's not real. What's the worst card in the deck? Um, I don't know. They're all pretty good. 
Cloffy X maybe, but everything's pretty gas. I don't know, Cloth just absolutely clutched against Zard earlier. This deck is kind of goaded, like, I really like it. So, yes. Three matches to go. Dang, only like 13 tables left. That's that's pretty big sad. This top eight cut's going to be kind of weird. But the CPAP player shouldn't ever use Iron Hands. Or if they do, we should have other ways to win. Tylene when you flip double tails. Yeah, that card does suck. Well, obviously Goat versus Luke. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said like, I, I don't think I'd cut it. But like, it's not always the best. So how many five, five and ones are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so there's gonna be some four and two gamers that I'm making in. That's pretty sick. So what, what matches do we have at five and one? We have, this is Bibzard. We take that. Guardy, that sounds scary. I wanna stay away from my card of war. Um, and then we have C pow C pow or we have C pow hands mirror uh, stall. So yeah, this is fine. I I, I have won a cup because my opponent attached lightning to an iron hands. I trapped it. it yeah, yeah, you're right. It does happen. <laughs> it does happen. Right, Thirteen out thirteen. I just want to stay away from this card of war. Like, if they could, like, please find, like, hit a future hands again and get farmed. That seems good. Just like, yeah, how would you two face each other? Oh, they already faced, bro. Yeah, I think you're fine, King. And, and someone at five and one should want to ID anyway. It's just me. It's <laughs> just getting out there that that's cringe. Let's get it. Like, I, I felt like I was just due for a dub tonight, chat. I just... So many, like, top eights and top fours with this deck. Like, how many do we have? There's, like, one, two, only, like, only, only three, actually. But then there was that uh, Tournament of Doom thing as well, so. Yeah. There's been a lot of bird lately. I've played a lot of bird. Huh. Really, there's a lot of Pidgeot. That's pretty cool. I don't know Gomora could fit really well in here. Not really. <laughs> yeah, they did finally give it its own icon. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, we were raising Bivazard. Let's go. They want, they, they want the ID chat. They want it? No thanks. Yeah, but what would, what would, um, <laughs> what would that, um, do? Like, nah, we're, no, we're not, we're not IDing. Maybe this is your IRL friends? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What are my thoughts on Zard Snorlax? Like the Charizard X version that people are kind of gaming with? <laughs> and also, if I were to beat them and they make it in a 5 and 2, and then we hit that again and cut. See? It all makes sense. Ah, oh, you tell him. You show him the clip. I don't. Um. No, Richard. If they're five and two, and make it, I'm gonna be one seed. I have pretty good odds of hitting them again. And also, just ten zero looks really cool on, on Twitter. It gets the uh, gets the uh, clout. Not that I post on Twitter, but it exists. I don't really like the Zardiac Snorlax deck that much. But I haven't really tried it much either. Go 
But like, when does actually limiting their bench really matter? Because like Lugia could just play with two chin with two Archeops and a Chinchino. Um, C Pal could play with back with with two backs and a Barbaro or two backs and a Greninja. And eh, whatever, uh, that's the risk we're willing to take, Richard. That's life. Bibs are free. There should be at least. There's like, there's one jet, one Turo. I just, I just have to play the game. That's the only, uh, only limiting factor here. They do have that max belt, so they can punch Claw. Probably get me go first, big side. So we'd have to play around the Devo mainly. Not get Devoed. Ah, Clefa sucks. This card's terrible. It plays a switch in a jet, which still isn't a lot. Cloth loop does seem very hot face emoji. Yo, can I top deck? Something else good, like an Ultra Ball or Pidgey X or Bravery Charm. Just what I was looking for. Let's go. Okay. Stuff's in here. Seems good. Mawile Luxury. Big Bird. Price and Arvin. Price the Penny. Um, Price the Pad. Forest. Reprise. Luminous. All right, sure. Fluffy goes so mid. There we go. Now we're gaming chats. Not close is fine. It's a free retreater. Are we gonna do heat tackle me? No. <laughs> Wait. Oh, did I might have just glanced at that? Oh yeah, it's just team evolution. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm blind. I saw TM colon and I was like, oh no. But okay, you're right. Chat carrying like like usual. And looks like they're gonna try to. Try to go no bib, which is definitely correct. Well, Dengar is four and two. Hey, let's go. All the managers. Imagine they have switch heat tackle. That would go so crazy. Ah, rip. Blazing destruction just just for the memes though. Rip. Oh no. This is kind of bad. <laughs> this is kind of bad. We can grasping draw for a lot of cards. I just like to have an Ultra Ball or an Arvin or some card to uh, get. I like how they're always flying away, man. I feel like I'm gonna play Erica. Oh, but I guess they don't want to get airy. They're 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 smart. Are you gonna go so hard? It might. We'll see. The Blazing Destruction. Oh my goodness. Elite Gaming Blazing Destruction. Get a Silene. <laughs> oh, they're kind of cooked. Um, so. I just draw with, um, with Rotom here. Man, I could Cleffa for four technically. That's not really good. I don't want to commit to this kind of stuff yet. Or do I care actually? Grasping draw is cool. One card's better than or four cards is better than three. Club goes so hard. Best card in the deck. Grasping draw correct. Well, they've all into Charmeleon, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Yo, now I just retreat back into cloth and charm it up. <laughs> Let's go. And they and then they have to evolve on this char Charmeleon, which I like because then it's not um not fire blasting my Mimikyu. And a Pidgey off the top. Sheesh. And we just gotta cook now. We can just kinda cook. Go ahead, combustion my uh, cloth. I dare you. Broken. All right, CXR. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead, evolve into the Charizard EX. They did, they listened. Oh no! Imagine if Zard Max Belt. Or they like top-ticked boss one of the last two turns. They're they're overloading energies. And the Iono. Sheesh. They're so lucky. Bro, my hands are so mid. And the max belt, they're so lucky. Bro. They are so lucky. It's fine. It is, it is okay. Mimikyu is a pretty good card. Mimikyu is not in the deck. Mimikyu is not very good. Luxray is pretty good. Yeah, Luxor is pretty good. Is playing at Mander ever good? It could be. Playing at Mander seems kind of hot. Now give me a good card, please. Deck. All right, we take this. This this is really good. So we'll start sniping. Dang, they're so good at this game. <laughs> so, I, do I even need to attach the hero cape? Because it could get vacuumed away. And... Um, they don't... They play Defiance as their only tool, so we don't have to worry about it right now. We can save it. Hopefully we can hit something big here. I love when people criticize me about my 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 candy art. It happens so much. And I love the I love the uh, criticism. <laughs> it fuels me. It's literally for the memes. I get it like at least once or twice a streamer's like, Blink, no, you're using the wrong candy art, you're cringe. Works every time. I'm literally engagement baiting you guys. Please heat tackle me. I don't know why I actually gusted around the Zard. That was kind of bad. It's okay. They're debating what to do here. They're, they're doing the math. Oh, they top deck boss? And they're gonna KO my Mawile. All right. That works for me. So they have one boss left. I've inspired, let's go. Hey, do we just sisters and snipe here? No, we don't, because sisters is prize. Funny. Okay. We can nest ball down the Mimikyu. Or nest, not nest ball, Hisuian for the... I had Arvin. I'm so good. It's fine. Yeah, those prizes are pretty good, but it's okay. Arvin, we can get the Super Rod gets this um ghost type might actually go kind of hard all right they could start hitting 210 that is true down all their ionos what does Cleffa do? Uh, free attack, draw two of seven in your hand. All the Ionos are gone. They've, there's a couple bosses left, or one boss left, I should say. The vacuum is the Luna Surprise, Ghost Psycho Soft, rip your right. <laughs> Ghost Psycho Soft. Dang it, you're right. It's burning darkness. Not chat trust. We just uh, Luminous is is goaded. Like Luminous would be so goaded right now. Yeah, because the other Charmeleon, they're big hitting Charmeleon stuck. 
Why did I take out for it? Oh, for the Cleffa and the Emergency Board, I took out an Ultra Ball and second Wiggly Tub. And it's 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 pretty broken. The Ultra Ball. I assume they're going Charmeleon here. I wish we had Sisters so we could still interact with the deck while they're just kind of chilling. How many how many fires did they play? It was seven. So down two, including a rod. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to be actually like aggressively finish this game though, which is somewhat of an issue. If they just want to be super passive. They evolve. They bring darkness for nothing. Is that optimal opt mimic mimic you are? It might be, I'm not sure. Wait. Okay, so next turn we can do a thing. We pull up this thing and start using Chi. Uh, broken. There we go. Oh, I <laughs> I'm so good at sequencing. I'm so great at this. Um, it's fine. Let's go. All right, next ne we uh, go for the uh, penny counter catcher, pull up the Charmeleon and start milling. And we got rid of the max belt. So they can't ever one shot the Chi Yu. Um, so see guys, the fire was put on the Mimikyu so we could penny it up and start using Chi Yu. Daisy's arc phone is just not very good. Um, you just unprize like before I ever played Arc Phone, I would always just play another copy of a card I felt bad prizing. Daisy's okay because you can see where your prizes are and like know what know which ones to take. But like then again, I could just play another card that would like if I have a card in my deck that I feel really bad about prizing, I feel like I'd rather play that instead. Attached to the Charmeleon, but they, they, they have no cards in hand. So we can just start milling and have a grand old time. Uh, no. This. And I think Daisy's okay. But it's, it's like nothing broken i guess yo the defiance fist does go kind of hard and then i'll do 10 with a combustion that's a thin as well let's be smart gamers okay let's start singeing ah man those are two bad top decks massive sad But yeah, now they're 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 kind of stuck. And even, even if they top deck Charizard, if they evolve into Zard, they just kind of lose. Um, um Okay, the top deck fire energy. You gonna poke me for 10? That goes crazy. A hard to treat. Works for me. Definitely works for for me. What if we just like didn't pick this up? That's probably not responsive. But it would be funny. They have like two good top decks. Well no more than that actually. Yeah, it's okay. Let's just be responsible. Yeah. Responsibility is unfortunately kind of good. When it plays the game, Futsal says they're losing. Um, I mean, 
not true, but okay. <laughs> Do I like the, the Turbo Hands matchup? Not really. I don't want to bench the mini on. It's fine. We can we 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 can be kind of patient. Like I don't think there's yeah there's really not much of a way I think we could lose this game, so we don't need to be kind of silly. And we just keep doing this and this. Once once we get him to okay, we got rid of the jet energy. Um Yeah, and, and, and being Benslock kinda does suck. But I just yeah, we, we can use the like what once they burn switch, then I feel better about more aggressively doing that. Um but yeah, this is this is a pretty pretty gaming. I need to be kind of careful though, not to deck myself out. Pretty good. Um, there are indeed no pal pads down. Well, we'll do that and then do this. There goes a lost vacuum. That's pretty good. Yeah, I took out a Wigglytuff for a Cleffa. But now that there's a Radiant Charizard in the deck, it feels less bad to price the Wigglytuff. And Cleffa gives us a little more consistency, helps us play around Spirit Tomb, better starter. Um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool card. Right, there's 14 minutes left. I really hope that they just don't slow play. <laughs> slow play would be such a cringe move. All right, see, chat. Now let me smart and play a pow pad first. Then we will uh, quick search for an airy and even maybe discard some uh, cards from their hand. Being smart's kind of cool. All right, just a nest ball. Rip. I'll keep milling those Arvins. Kind of broken. Maybe it's time to run Spirit Tomb. I'm, not, I'm never playing Spirit Tomb in this deck. Spirit Tomb. I'm not shutting off my own roads off. That seems uh, pretty goofy. Need that Mew counter though? True. I have never beaten you this format. So that was pretty good. I've never beaten beaten Mew. It's so hard to beat. Fire? There we go. I like can't even just retreat this thing anymore. They have to find switch or super odd. Yeah, that's, that's entirely different though. That was a whole different format. Mew was a, an actually real deck. But, but you are right that it did win a regionals. So it must be good. Right, right. Darkness. Can we just quick search Penny and do the thing? Um, we search Penny, do the thing, it's fine. Everything's okay. Just how we drew it up. Forgetting Penny's prize is so good. Never punished though. Broken. <gasps> yes, this, 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 this. And then this and mill all part of the plan for sure. I really did want a quick search for the uh, pal pad actually it made sense. Actually, when, when you think about it, it was the op op optimal play. So I didn't want them to miss fortune sisters, my other pal pad away. Now I lose to two bosses. Um, that would be true, but it's not. 
Well, okay, I technically do, you're right, but like, they can't move this Charmeleon. They're down two of their three bosses. Um, if they do move this Charmeleon, I gust it up again. Oh no. Alright, well. So now they just have... We can, we can just pull up Heat Tackle Mander twice, I guess. Okay, this actually kind of got scuffed. The Hidden Fourth Boss? You might be right. Uh, uh, um. So, six. They have one fire left. I can't catch a melon so charming because there's two retreats. 200 viewers? Yeah, that's that, that goes pretty hard. Counter catch off the top. Pretty, pretty nasty, actually. Alright. How many how many how many counter catches are down? Yeah, this just wins the game. Cause now we we, we we penny here, bring this thing up. And they attach retreats, and then we just boss it again. So yeah. Broken. I am going to Orlando. Um Everyone literally knows Moonlight sees. Oh, I brought, I brought I didn't put the counter catcher. <laughs> I'm getting distracted here, but now, now we pull up Mandarin to screen. It's fine. I didn't forget to gust. That's not true. I just knew I was going to mill the fire energy. I was, I was never, um, it, it was never a, an, an issue. I was never not going to. Uh, um, yeah, I knew fire was in the top two cards of their deck because PDCGL stacks the fires on top. So I didn't feel like it was necessary. Like, why waste a counter catcher? Like, what was even the point? And the funny part is, even if I didn't mill it, they go swing. I pull it up, they attack retreat, swing, take two prizes. I boss up the squib or whatever again, I still win. Open deck was helps a lot, but it's definitely still playable in closed list. Alright, broken. Everyone who keeps rising. Yeah, true. That is also a great point. By using a science, we can tell that there's fire on, there's fire on top of the deck. Science told me that I did not need to use that counter catcher. For reverse hello IRL, let's go. I think that's their plan, or at least hoping to maybe do it. So hope to try to tie, but yeah, it's not happening. Oh no, they, they play boss. No. We're, we're cooking. Two more. Wait, actually, does Iona for the win would would go pretty hard? Why not touch Charm Char to two Luminion? Because it just doesn't matter. I mean, I would IRL, but since I know that they don't have any outs, I don't need to. They also play optimal candy art. Yeah, exactly. Y'all are just trolling. Oh no, they're gonna nest dash. <laughs> they're not gonna. They're determined not to deck out. Yeah, but they only had one boss left. So, and even if they do boss K Luminion, they still have to take their last prize. 
Hey. The nest dash. 220 in chat is ridiculous. This list farms hard. Like, I didn't even set up that cleanly and we still cooked them. I didn't even play that good either. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, that, that's phase one of our plan complete. That is 7-0 through Swiss. Now we just got to go undefeated through Top Cut. Not that hard, right? Not that hard. Oops. Right, 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 right. There we go. For what? We're, we're going to go 10-0. That's the plan. Thanks, Fire Nuts. Talking about GU. Yeah, that's... And now, how, how we draw it up here is Bro is then... Five and two takes my resistance and gets eighth place and we and we face them again. Because obviously they'll having the seven zero on the resistance would go incredibly hard. Because I guess two five and twos could make it then, depending on the result here. I want this Gardevoir just gone out of here. Just get rid of it. It's like the only matchup I'm like sweating out here. Please, Goldango. Please, Goldango Dunsparce. The sauce. I don't know how this deck has any game into Gardevoir. But double lost city. <laughs> the six psychic tulip engine, of course. Who needs SER when you can play it as your supporter? Like item based psychic energy recovery? Nah, tulip cracked. And gets your gimmies back, though. How do we be Guardi? Uh, we'll try Copium. We can, we can do it. Drop, drop, drop the buffalo too. Yeah, grads are better. What was the top eight of the Doom Regional? It was like four C Pow, a Lost Box, a Zard, a Tina, and Arc Tina, I think. Um, yeah, C Pow cooked. Like that topic was so good for us, which is big sad. Um, but yeah, lots of C Pow gaming. Guardi's a lie. Yeah, for real. Guardi's just not even real. Guardi's fake. What what you don't respect just cannot hurt you. <laughs> Scooby would give you the map, bruh. Nah, just just win. Scooping is cringe. Just win the game. Control me, prize your fire energy. What do you do? Catch luminous energy and I uh, keep milling. Or you can use Pidgeot, knock out their Chi Yu. Because it's uh, kind of cracked. Nah. Still take the mat. Send the points to the lost zone. Building a future a Pidgeot against Future Box? Yeah, you just don't get your right cards. Um, you can have Pidgeot. No, gr griefing always makes sense. What are you talking about? No. Oh, we faced someone who dropped. That's a free dub, right? <laughs> Limitless is so brat. Let's go. Oh, wait, we didn't update yet. I'm just smart. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm so smart. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I saw 10 out of 10. I got excited. I'm smart. <laughs> Bro, it's happened before. I've seen it happen before. Where like someone goes like 5-1 drop and they get still paired and cut. Hoping we face Zard bro again. Or a CPAL gamer. What happened to that other table? Okay, the Guardi one. So we're out of bracket of the Guardi initially. The Guardi should be like second seed, which means we wouldn't face them until finals, which is good. See, playing it out always made sense. Knocking out this person always made sense. Did MVP make cut? Maybe? They haven't updated standings yet. Let's go! See, chat? Just how we drew it up. Y'all were doubting. 
I knew what I was doing. I wasn't throwing. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. I go against the block lax. Hey, that's not that's that should be pretty free. I knew what I was doing, chat. I wasn't just about to ID to his art and never see it again. <laughs> Hit him with we meet again? We could. All right, let's get it. The, the Wiggly Tough Cleffa icon would go pretty hard. All right, well, we just, we just got to do it again. How, how hard can it be? Girl's offline now. Did he, did, did, did he delete me? Ah, oh, no, Rose is offline. Well, I might have to reset. We'll see if it pops up here. And actually, no, we'll be we smart and we'll like try to delete people and see if it makes them pop up. That always works. Deleting people. Yes. Good. broken all right let's get it i'm actually wasting entire hour playing zog versus the control i mean i'll take free dubs and it shouldn't be an hour at least in like top cut like i don't think bro is gonna want to like stay and play like might be more willing to scoop like on un un unwinnable games What's a whip a wiggly stuff? Yeah, because has a ton of HP and it hits a good amount of damage. Wanna farm your friend again? I hope so. I really hope so. Farming is good. Farming is very good. So the the board on the mimic cube is kind of tough. And we hit Pidgey and the Rodom. Okay. This is this is peak gaming. Ultra Ball, that's that's Luminion. You price your fighting fire and mist. Sheesh. Wiggly can't really be a loop though, because there's only one jigglypuff. Nest ball pass. Okay. Um I'll just discard the two Pokemon. Let's get the fish. Let's for a seal stone. Candy. All right. Sounds okay to me. And then we, we start gaming. I thought I was using Butterfree. I don't know what that thing does, so I haven't thought about it. Almost have the uh, luxury play this turn. Um, I think we go charm, so they can't go boss kale lumen. All right, broken. And then we start fang sniping next turn if they're like fine not playing the game. Or maybe they're gonna be more committed to using heat tackle this time. Which is still okay, because I can just use Chi Yu and stuff. And if they're gonna play that game, they lose a lot of resources. Yeah, like they don't play belt, so we can just go for the luxury like pretty pretty freely. I just want to check my prizes. I'm kind of lazy like that. All right. Remember, Penny's prize, just like last time. And then we can we even can use a sisters. All right. I love seeing super odds hit the discard pile. That's my favorite. 
Okay, so I'll start fang sniping. Switch seems good. Their hand does, in fact, just suck. Well, okay. Turret or move mode active and lose the match. Hey, solid play. I respect it. Handy max belt. Okay. No, do they think max belts could help him to KO? Oh no, not like this. Oh no. Well, then I just bang snipe the max belt and cloth loop just wins the game. Maxwell Demander. This is still fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, they topped like Arvin, so their hand isn't even that good. Yeah, that's. This is okay. Um, okay, this, 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 and we're kind of chilling. Please, thank you. Is he hundred two AKO Pidgey? I don't know. I feel like you should just like grab Defiance Band and just burn it, cause now Cloth is just goaded. Cause boss isn't ever like th the, your three boss aren't ever finding you six prizes. And you're already down a rod. They just draw a pass. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what we, uh, what, what we need right now. It could just be Silene and Palpad back in Sisters. Penny, and then try to cycle back the pad, and then into charge. And if they're gonna commit to just chilling, then we can just try to go hunt out that um, lost vacuum or whatever that they're gonna try to hold on to. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of control in Orlando. No, not really. Control is always gonna be limited. Uh, so there's just gonna be some people who will never touch it no matter, no matter how good it is. This is definitely Sisters Gaming. <laughs> okay, go next. One second once again. Okay. I wonder what was prized, because probably something was prized, like Poffin to like not have the same in it. But okay. <laughs> All right, this is fine. What's my block locks plan? We can outmill them. We can KO their Chiyu, and it's hard for them to re recover it. I don't know if prizing Mander even really matters though. Like I'm pretty sure. Like, what do they do from that point? Because, like, they can't just sit there. I'm going to sisters and eventually hit hit their good cards. Um, If they, like, go back... If they, like, retreat back into... The Charmander's, like, heat tackling or Charmeleon and KO Mimikyu. Cloth just wins the game. Well, Buffalo made it easy, but you don't... um Don't need it like that. I rip a mulligan. And the the, the ham, ham, ham was bad. We didn't want it anyway. Um, this hand's not great, but we always have top deck ultra ball. It's fine. All right, it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay. Well, for family could be kind of gas. Now let's just top tick Ultra Ball or Pidgeot or Arvin or Luminion. Imagine you have Fire Stranded on Pidgey. That'd be kind of broken. 
Yo, we're actually gonna Evo this game. That'd be kind of nuts. I don't know if Evo is actually good for them though. Doing it anyway. I think you forgot that it's best three rip. I like how they're aggressively pitching their Abidu still. It's fine. Thinning is winning. The double Ultra Ball play. I really do not want to play an Ionu on you then. Yeah, that is kind of mid. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, I guess we have to. I don't want to just call for family and let my Pidgey get KO'd. My Pidgey, the other Pidgey were... Okay. This is definitely a Cleffa angle. Cleffa goes insanely hard right now. Hopefully the other Turb is not prized. It is. Oh, no. We can't Lux right now. Well, that... Oh, I should retreat into the Cleffa first. Misplays. I'll just grab Poffin actually. I'm just thin. Then Cleffa for a ton. Alright. Poffin. Treats. Cleffa. And draw a bunch of cards. Cleffa's broken. I keep telling y'all, Clef is pretty good. You put four Zabazor, four DM, zero candies. Makes sense. Just evolving Pokemon's good. The steady fire breathing. Yo. <laughs> the steady fire breathing. And not, not having Luxray kind of, kind of is pretty mid. Alright. Steady fire breathing. I kind of want to airy here, but also, yeah, I think airy's the move. Could be blustery with it as well. That would be kind of sick. Trying to hit, trying to hit those rods. That's a pretty good airy. Okay, now we retreat back into the Mimikyu. I don't mind just instant charging with this. Let's try to rebuild the hands. All right, this is. Yeah, I probably will eventually Silene the DT. It's just kind of an annoyance. I'd rather not do it, but like, it's fine. They technically can knock out this Mimikyu. Like, they could evolve Zard here, push three energies here, and use Fire Blast. But I can just trap this Zard and start using Chiyu and. Switch, switch is gone, so I don't really care. My fire is kind of stuck. Hopefully, I, yeah, I, we had Luminous in deck. There's an Ultra Ball. Yeah, I assume they're going to play Zardiax here and KO Active with the Fire Blast. Um, but that's kind of what we want them to do. Most ever in chat? Definitely. Well, we, had, we were over 200 earlier for... The round seven game but yeah in one stream it is how they do attach to the zard smart wait what if i just start using chi with this thing active because then they have to hard retreat or evolve and if they if they evolve they kind of lose but they could have back max belt that would go kind of crazy Well, I think that's fine, right? No, they don't have that. Okay. Yeah, I th I'm I'm pretty pr pretty chill with this. Singe. Yeah. <laughs> the streams have been popping off lately, and I kind of don't know why. So if you're in chat for the first time or um, something like that, I'm curious. Um, like what 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 happened? 
Why did you decide to click on this? I love Blitzel stream or this particular stream. All right. Meme deck to pull. It's not a meme deck though. That's the that's the amazing part about this. All right. We're cooking. I'm the only control content creator. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I guess there's not too many other people who play a lot of control. Okay. Well, I guess that might be that, that might be a uh, a big deal. If Strander Sanders still stream, I I I'd be toast. Okay. I'm still below Sander. That's like good to know. All right. So sounds like. A lot of gamers who are uh, interest, interested in control. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Get the pal pad. We haven't even used for a seal stone yet. That's kind of goofy. I guess they thought it was fire, fire, colorless. So they're going to like retreat. Or, or maybe they're going to like try to retreat off the jet. I don't know. You miss his old streams? They were unwatchable? Why were they uh un unwatchable? <laughs> hey, reach out to Marco and Sanders and see if they I'm definitely not in either one of their caliber, but Okay. I even could no I can't. I could actually care this, right? I get to pick, so all right. So max belted Zard hits 230. I don't even need to penny. Just pal pad back in penny and sisters. I want to use the sisters here. He wanted not talk and the music was insanely loud. I like listened to one of his streams like once. I don't ever remember like anything being. Um crazy off about it but that's kind of funny <laughs> why should cloth is a penny loop because cloth is the optimal thing to penny loop because they hit it and every time they lose an energy so they're already down a rod so they cannot keep hitting this cloth forever they can poke this for 20 oh that's so cool i set up the uh the big zard knockout Got you. All right, this is. Let's let's actually let's be smart and thin some cards out. Actually, I don't even really want you. You can stay in there. Um, we don't need that either. Um, he's fast. I tried the Articuno loop build. I haven't got around to doing that. Um, but yeah, this is like going to be like the main thing I'm streaming and playing until like at least after Orlando because it's like my my number one pick right now. Yeah, now they just like really lose. Do they even have any energies left? They do not. Now we can start using the chi. Now the uh, chi is correct. I probably shouldn't have benched cloth because now boss could maybe buy him time, but whatever. This is this is over. They don't, yeah, they can super rod back in energies, but then if even one of them gets milled, they just lose. Well, I guess, yeah, technically they could have evolved ZRDX and do some stuff, but then Mimic you with Fest just wins the game, so. Um, that is, yeah. That match is insanely 
free for us as long as we set up. Like, Bibzard's way better than Pidgeyzard. Like, at least the Pidgey can, like, bench the uh, Pidgey and, like, have, like, can find their good cards. Like, they have to play, like, without their draw engine and try to cope with that. Okay, so what are we, like, what's in bracket with us? The Starlax Stall versus Control. No, uh, re regionals always have a closed deck list. Man, we could be playing a 60 card mirror next round. That'd be crazy. <laughs> that would go pretty crazy. Well. All right. Um, it's 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 probably gonna be a while unfortunately so yeah they're not done they're not even done with it with a game yet so that's that that's kind of mid okay i guess we'll take this this moment to um i'll refill my water i guess since we have, we, we we have time but then we'll look at the other top eight decks we'll look at some of the other tournaments happening today and yeah i'll be right back so, okay.
your stream's over i hope you enjoyed it um gotta pay extra for the extended version uh yes more gaming back bird cool stuff yes all right um see how beat future hands we're happy about that um we're happy guardy's down a game there was no door that's factually incorrect <laughs> and then king hero crosses up on the block lags so yes we play the winner of of this game i mean i'd much rather face this but like it's probably going to be a 60 card mirror check again to the night prize fighting fire dt and two candy sheesh <laughs> it's kind of gross all right so there's gonna be some time let's look at the other trip that's happening simultaneously um okay. future box at 6-0 wow well that's surprising with the reboot pod with crisis punch wow and they be even beat a block lax last round i guess maybe the iron leaves made it tough to trap Oh, I see farm Zard. Wow. Um, that is pretty interesting. The other 6 0 is a Charizard playing Fluttermain. Um, Airy, Turo, Pat. I think I probably for playing control against like Zard in blinds, like open list, we always should play like they have Airy. Um, and just make sure we don't ever get messed up because they airy white double pad or something um but that's also 6-0 any other jank doing well there's a great tusk at 5-1 um i mean there's 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 there's, there's some stuff great tusk farming jank beat a zoroark beat a zatu We are doing well tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, anything. There, these guardies kind of scare me. Like, is there ever a way that like, guardy becomes like super meta again? Yeah, Bouffant's too mid. It's not. It's not as good in as many matchups for as important matchups as the uh, these Charizard stuff. So yeah, guardy with Roseanne's backup. It's kind of, kind of crazy. You like, couldn't guarantee that you drew your hero cape again, but maybe that's all right. It's just more like putting it back in the deck. Only two Arvin in Evo though. It feels like you're so. I don't feel like you're very consistently DM <laughs> evolving your Curlios. I feel that's pretty good though. Like if you're not Evoing, that seems really bad. But what what have uh, they end up facing? Uh, some kind of weird decks as well okay still still gaming there oh, how about the tournament that happened earlier snorlax went 7-0 arc vulpix went six the arc vulpix aerodactyl went 6-1 sheesh and the raging bullet had a chance to win but lost to, to the to the block dang that's disappointing buffon is mid I don't want to play Snorlax in Erica though. Especially if they're playing Taro Pad, it seems kind of cope anyway. Man, this would this would definitely have a chance against Snorlax. I guess the Mimikyu would be the hardest part. Three switch outs. I guess you can probably load at me, right? It wouldn't be that bad, but it wouldn't be that great either. The Sandy, the baby Sandy shocks goes kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't want this. This isn't real. No, nah, maybe it is. <laughs> Ra Raging Bopalki is really fun, if anything else. And they went six and one, so maybe it is real. Yeah, block one. Is this like regular old block? Yeah, it looks like it. Triple airy. Man, how do you play three airies but only one side being two pad? Like. How, how is Earth Investable a better card than... I guess for, for mirrors to get into the Chi Yu faster, I guess? 
Outpad's pretty good though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about this. Imagine if, like the Snorlaxes start teching Sandshrew for for the mirrors. We are, we ever get to that point? All right, oh rip this 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 could uh. This could very well be a while. I hope it's not the uh, remaining 18 minutes, but I suppose this is as good of a time as any. Any questions y'all have about this deck, deck list, ask them now while I'm not distracted. <laughs> I'm not trying to do two things at once. Cloth are good. Um, Charles are better than a Bouffalance. Cloth is good. Will be tough as sauce. Also, rational behind Bouffalon cut. Because, like, it's really. I mean, it's good in mirror, but you should already beat that. It's, it's good against Ancient, but Ancient's not real. So I'd rather have Radzard for Future and Lost Box and Tina and Char and Ark. Like, Charger's just the better card. And it's, like, still good against Chimp Out. And let's be cheat on spots and cut the extra Wiggly Tough. What's play against Tinkaton? I don't know. <laughs> I like, do they have anything that can get retreat locked or is they all, I guess they're done, the Dunsparces go back into the deck. So future lands can be pretty hard, um, but like we can prize trade and stuff. We can use our Wiggly Tap, we can use Cloth, we can use Radzard. It's not that bad. Um, and it's kind of the same kind of deal with Arc, but we also have Mimikyu as a as a win con against them. Really, the reason my future is so hard is because I can kind of at will boss Pidgeot or pretty pretty easy for them to boss Pidgeots. Uh, so I like using Luxray if we can, just like try to pick those bosses out of the hands, and like also just like boss plus Luxray can make it like and uh, pull up a crown can make it like hard for them to. They don't always have like Capsule just sitting in the hands, and that can buy you some time. Like some of you, if you've if you've timed like loop sisters and stuff to be hit like uh, that prime catcher and stuff, it's a lot more manageable. Um, but yeah, you generally go like luxury into Wibby tough attacking into Radzard. Like you can also go vacuum away the baton and uh, make so it's harder for them to load up two two hands or have a backup hands. Um, not really any spirit tune deck is kind of sketch. Uh, I don't think switch cards make it into lists, but and yeah, re rescue board kind of does that a little bit, and it just makes Clef a, a pretty good card. But yeah, does Mala and Crown work against Future Hands? It can, depending on the list. Most of them are playing Psychic Energies now, so uh, that's kind of sus, but um, it can. And they like you i mean they always a prime they sometimes have two cards they usually have psychic energies so yes yeah you do occasionally see a turo or a penny as well why do you play pidgey and he seems kind of mid true should not just just just, just cut pidgey and just should just bench the pidgey out of the so just not even evolve it at all that seems smart <laughs> you, you might be on to something Well, all of them are done. Wonderful. So we get the uh, wonderful 60 card mirror. You have a good deck. <laughs> you have a good deck. Broken. Well, this shall be interesting. It was way too stressful. Well. This this also should be stressful. Something tells me that this set is not gonna take like twenty minutes like the one against Bibzard. So the other side of the bracket, like okay, the Guardi loss, which we're pretty happy about, it's Tina. Tina versus uh C Pal. Okay. 
But she did lose the only sea power that they face. They don't play Manaphy, so. Yeah, looking kind of sketch. I, I would love to see a, a sea power final. But first, we gotta win the Amir match. <laughs> Well, okay, this will be very, very interesting. Um, so it very well could just be like cheat you race to the bottom, but I think there's a little more depth than that. If one of, if for the player who does cheat you second, and also, also just for for either player. Um, there's, 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 there's ways we could work around it. The Bouffalon list would, would have made the 60 card mirror a lot more interesting, but like now it's a lot less so. We just come down to mill RNG or Silene RNG. I don't really like either one of these starters, but I guess we'd rather open the cloth. I don't hate opening area actually. Opening Lux goes crazy hard. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. This is going to be tricky. Well, this is this is a yikes. This is very much a yikes. Daisy's Daisy plus phone would go really hard. An opening Lux Ray I means you can start sniping my Silenes right off the rip. Okay. I guess cloth is kind of annoying for that Fang snipe kind of game plan. I might actually start loading this thing up and just be like, I'm going to start taking knockouts. Like, I don't care if I give you counter catcher. Um, I'm not sure I have actually. That's, that's, that's cards. All right, let's, let's alchemy. Let's get ourselves a Pidgey. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a take prize cards angle. Like, I probably wouldn't normally do this, but, like, I don't really have a choice. I could definitely pressure this Pidgey if it does not get candied up right away. That's a Silene. So, if that's, like, just, like, a Silene grasping draw, I'm bossing Pidgey. Yeah, okay. I kind of want to keep more cards in my deck, but like that's that's kind of fair. Like, how much do I care about that? There's only foul path. All right, let's get the Pidgey. Yes. Let's try to race ahead here. Pull some pal pads out. Well. <laughs> I want to Iono next turn then to get rid of him. Or we could play Go the Cloth on Cloth. This is super stressful. Like an air you would totally wreck my life. Alright, attach the luminous air. Super ride air. Dang. Cloth is kind of gamey. All right, let's go get ourselves candy. And we can grab the Defiance Band and just Ultra Ball that away. Don't think we'll be needing either one of these. It's the Band, maybe, like Banded Zard. Right, we're like never using Sharon. And we're probably not behind. But like the Bands maybe matters. You never know, right? Okay, let's play Pal Pads. We don't just get cooked by an Aerie. Now what do we want with this? I guess we could we could just grab the boss. 
could also start trying to play for the Chi Yu, but like with how slow their start is, I'm kind of just cool just hitting stuff. I think they're gonna try to send up a cloth and like try to slow the game down. <laughs> We're way over killing this Cleffa. The rod, okay. There's a cup X. True. Yeah, I'm gonna keep bossing Pidgey. Like, I'm gonna go boss Pidgey Palpat again. Um. They do pop the Forest Seal Stone. Are they gonna try to go for two Pidgeys? But then I think I do Airy if they do that. Now they get on the Goldfish. Well, that's fine. I could go airy, which would be very funny, but I don't think it's good. We, we, we could grab it though, or I might just want to start pivoting to the, to the Chi Yu after this. It's not, it's not letting me boss the Pidgey. I cannot drag it. Bruh. I mean, I can drag that. I can drag the Chi. I can't get Pidgey. That's so frustrating. Well, that sucks. Alright, well, whatever. We're just taking prizes. <laughs> We're just balling. <laughs> We're just nuking stuff. That sucks. Is I'm gonna worth in Chen Power is kind of because you're better overall. I like Iron Bundle. It's just easy to find. And it's basically, yeah, because they did put up something that Chen Power can nuke or put up something that Ans can uptrade on. I feel like they should Radzard here. I don't think they're like two prizes left. Okay, they they, they go cloth. Now they leave leave cards on the top for me to mill. Aerie is insane in Zard. Like I mean, if, if you're playing Pidgey Zard, you should be playing Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle, I'm Aerie. Let's see what they uh, stack on top. Um, how bad? Well, I can just go Misfortune Sisters. And I can swing, but I don't know how good that is. I guess a head would be pretty, pretty annoying. But also, like, yeah, is that good? The heads forces them to penny, and then I probably just go penny chi after that. <laughs> oh, this is broken. Because they can't airy my hand now. They have to penny this. Oh, doing the turb, actually. I think you just do the fighting, so I have to play the rod. I think Penny. But I'm ahead in resources, right? Like, they're down pad Silene. They're loading up cloth. Hmm. Yeah, what if I just start milling them? Then what? Okay, let's just start start gaming. I'm still kind of salty about that um that boss that sucked. Zard and DTE. The DTE is actually pretty good. Makes it harder to swing with that cloth. 
<laughs> they decide, nah, it's not it. It's... Okay, jealously singe. I probably airy here. We could maybe try to exploit that they don't have any pennies or run them out of pennies, I guess. There's none in there, but there is an area in their hand. So. Let's put back in those two. Let's attach to the cloth. Let's singe. Um, it could be, but then they could rads up my rads art, and that would kind of suck. Greater area art his double pal pad there. You're probably right, actually. Take the orange ball away, actually. Okay. Over attached to the cloth. Hmm. Grass will use the pad. What was the other card in there? Um, any? Hmm. I could use Flame Surge, actually, like that. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, what if I just use Flame Surge? I kind of like that. Like, force them to Penny. Or we could just keep milling. They do still have double Penny left, too. I feel like I'm ahead though, because I just put back in double pal pad. What's up with Gyna seats? We did mill Silene, so could potentially be Yeah, that, that that's pretty good. Only one Silene, one pad. Is Sanchez auto wins mirror? Yes. If one player had shrew and, and, and the other didn't. That's their last pal pad. Dang, this feels really potentially exploitable. And their Aries down, so like, I'm just gonna pocket pal pad. What does Sanchu do? Make sure you can't throw cards back into your deck. So, um. If I just keep swinging with Flame Surge every turn, eventually they just like whiff, right? Like they have, they have to play Penny like every turn. That'd be three turns though. But they, I can just pull both of these. I think I want to go for the Silene's. Let's go. We hit the side. There's only one left now. Hey, that's pretty sick. We like, uh, <laughs> we like alt arts. So now do I just win if I start swinging? Or do I win in three turns? We might. Aries scare it's in the discard pile, I don't have to worry about it. Alright. I don't know why I did that really. I'm just gonna end up pulling it back out. I should have palpated, but it's it's fine. I should probably go on sisters. Nah. One thing I do at my, at my disposal that they don't is Iono's a serious asset to put cards back into my deck. The last Silene, this double tails, game's over. Uh, one has one tails, can quick search for the pad, pal pad back in double Silene. Not over yet. Um, 
flat a TM Devo. <laughs> that would be really good right now, but I don't think it's uh, necessary. All right. All right let's put back in um, Silene. And probably boss, that actually. Because I had to like, like boss, so boss up cloth enough times. That would kind of suck for them. Now, Sisters doesn't do anything. They played the pad. But they actually put back in. I assume it was double Silene. Yeah, they had to. I had lost back in the deck because it's good against a lot of things. Um, yeah. It's good against Future. It's good against Ma uh, Charizard. Um, good against, uh, it, it, it also gets, get, gets rid of stadiums, gets rid of annoying tools, like that kind of stuff. He doesn't matter knowing against Zargon control has it. Alright, they're gonna start using counter catchers. But I don't really care, because I, I still have pennies left, so. We just penny the claw. And like these, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling fine here because I always feel like I own it to put a ton of cards back in my own deck. There's a penny gone, which is actually kind of big. What is this game? I have no clue. All right, Silene. Has one tails. I mean, that's plus one card. Gets the pal pad back. They could keep me honest though and put like put Airy. Back in the deck. Um, the area I have to play Iona, which is fine. My own area got milled. Okay. <laughs> I have one Silene, one thing down. Okay. Let's do this. And I know the pop is at the bottom, so I don't want to quick search. Oh, we hit one of their Silenes. All right, there's only one of those left. I've never played the same deck before. I mean, I've played other mirror matches, but I've never played this one. I like consider lightning for me so you can boss kill Pidgeot with Rotom. I mean, that'd be funny. But I don't think the mirror is relevant enough. Double heads. Sheesh. Do I have time for three games? I mean, these games are relatively fast. But they... Okay. I'm assuming that was double pad. We're going to go sisters and we're, and we're going to go looking for those. I should have done one side you one pad, so I have gotten them all. Alright, this this is massive. No, he does a whiff. Hey, okay. Yeah, we just didn't hit any of them. That's tragic. It's very tragic. Well we we, we have luminous. We could, it's technically possible. Double Silene. Airy, let's go. Now we can safely put the pads back in our hands. I guess I didn't have anything down. Okay. I'm silly like that. Fine, we get the Silene back in the deck. We grab Pal Pad. Silene for Silene. It's so broken. Singe. Get a pad. Let's go. They're back down to just their two Silenes. And we're ahead by like five cards. 
Um, yes, technically I would, but I always win faster than them with Mill, so I don't have to worry about that. They realize that, and they're going to start hitting me with crap. Right, they slap me for a lot. It's fine. Yeah, this is still fine. Yeah. Opponent is very weak too, I don't know. Yeah, but they like, like have to side lean this turn. Um, double heads kind of cracked. But like they can't do double pad, or I just mill one of them with sisters. Did they? Did they do double pad? Had rod. Oh, they're gonna chuck back a time with the super rod. Is that even? I mean, I guess it's kind of good. Um, okay. It's falling press. Now they're not putting any mill pressure on me. But like they are threatening KOs, which is mildly annoying. All right, now what? I sort of just don't like that this is happening this way. All right, so let's do this. Well, only that one pad left. <laughs> That's kind of scary. It's all right. It's all right. I just need them to like not hit heads for once. Like that'd be kind of cool. Or maybe at some point I just like don't penny. I'm just like, okay, whatever. If, if you hit two heads in a row, then that's okay. They just, <laughs> once again, they're left with just, they're just a pal pad. I kind of want like revert over to Fang Snipe, but I think all my, all those cards are gone. Get yeah, two double turbos and. And Lux. I just cut Rotom V for Toad's Cruel X. True. Wait, but they've quick searched already. So odds are I mill Silene. Yeah, I just I just mill this turn. I just go pal pad back in double penny. And we just mill. And like. Yeah. They'd have to hit double heads. Okay. That. Okay. Yes, this is good. One. <laughs> Hoping to mill, mill both. Let's see. Oh, Celine so was the bottom card. All right, well, I think prize card, taking prizes early game is correct. Um, also, I kind of like going first. So, like, I can be more the aggressor. Like, even if it's just blustery, winding Pidgeys, like... I really wasn't able to use Fang Snipe either. I feel like that'd be really good. Cloth makes this matchup actually really interesting if like one player wants to go offensive. And it removes Fang Snipe as a, as a possibility. Are streaming tomorrow? I don't think so. Are your door stream? Nah. Door stream's mid. That was like a 20, 30 minute game one or something like that. Oh, there's only 30 minutes left in the rounds. That was like a 22 minute game one, so we do have to be kind of careful. 
So you buy Radzard? Yeah, it's literally the same 60. Dorsheen are the best now. Dorsheen's mid. Dorsheen's big mid. I like this. Like, I open locks means uh, like I can start picking apart their hands. Mulligans are gaming. Elder Arvin, okay. Open Mawile. What's up, RBD? Okay, well, we have stuff. I, I don't even hate next turn. Like, I have Arvin for candy. Forest Seal, so I'm Forest Seal for energy and start things and I think straight, straight, straight away. So is this going to be, a, okay, Rotom. I was going to say, is that, is that a Cleffa? I don't know. Oh, they're getting... Okay, now... Yes, I 100% Fang Snipe. <laughs> hey, we get Bird going! Okay. Okay, we did prize a pad this time. But not not both pads. But that's good. Prize a Silene. But uh, the fire's in deck as well. Okay. All right, let's go. So now we start fang sniping. I don't want. I don't, don't think I want to grab pad, but we can maybe grab like sisters for next turn. Actually, I can boss kill Pidgey. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty good. I could have probably played more toward that and grabbed like DTE to set up for it, but like also this is really good. Like we can just discard the candy. And then it's really hard for them to ever actually get Pidgey going too. Like they're they're instant charging. And every time they they do I think they want this Mawile to die. Every time they instant charge, we can like just pick the best card out of the hands. Oh, Cleffo is proud. Yo. I get to knock out Cleffa. Okay. And Jiggly hits the board. Yo, Cleffa for six goes really hard. Nah, now we just airy and we just like take apart this entire hands. Like there, there has to be more than one good item in, the, in, the, in this hands. It's all Poffin. And we can take an Arvin. All right. I don't know why they charm the uh, Clef. I think they. I guess it helps them keep drawing cards here. But yes. I think they want to get knocked out. I'm not sure. This this matchup's kind of weird. <laughs> the instant charge. Um. Yeah. Now I think we pocket the, the double turbo and like play for that boss Pidgey angle, potentially. Wait, is boss even the boss in the deck? Pretty nuts. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. So by the time they're actually playing the game, they're gonna be down so many resources. Right, we just take the other candy. Now the bird's just not getting set up. All right, now we can just like go back into Chiyu and like, what do they do about it? They have to start taking prizes, I think. Your luxury me? Okay. Luxury me is kind of annoying. But what if I just go? I could boss the Rotom so it's one card harder for them to get it. Or even boss the Jigglypuff. Nah, boss the Rotom for sure, for sure. I want to. I want to get whatever instant charge card, but I don't want to get Fang Snipe back, bruh. Yes, the Arvin. Ah, uh, they, they drew the board. Okay, that was that was a, a little silly. It's 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 okay. 
We probably just start milling. Now they're bench locked out of Chi. What did you miss? Game one was kind of was the, well, game one was very tight, but then this game, um, I got to a really fast start and they didn't so much. So, uh, yeah, we they just pop it back in Arvins. That's crazy. <laughs> that is pretty ridiculous. We could just start building cloth and try to KO the Luxray since like the some stuff's already down. Or we could just start using Chi. I think we probably just start using Chi because like not a whole lot of good cards in the hand anyway. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, we're without the uh without the uh, bird it's pretty hard for them. We just grab the chi. And then we penny. And like they can keep bang sniping. But like we don't really care. That's the last pal pad, so there's they they have to Silene to get their candies back, but they also kinda of have to get pal pads back. And yeah. I think if you know your opponent's I, I I do kind of like first and mirror. Just getting that first attack of some kind is super good. Like even if it's like, like you don't necessarily get punished for the underdeveloped board and fang sniping. All right, well on to finals. <laughs> very very sad. GG's king. Right, well, you see pals up one game to none. I'd be down for it for another C pal in finals. We could definitely uh definitely go for get the Ateno. They do have the bundle, they have cologne, they have prime. Or <laughs> when you still want the Pommy? I got you. <laughs> the or stream brought chill. Or streams are still mid. Yeah, I think Tina, like Tina, without Pat, Tina has to struggle in this matchup. Now, now we we have, we have play the waiting game. Let's see if um, what's the winning here? So hard to be buried in finals. Yo, but this is like, oh, this bird list is gross. This is very gross. That one turn I bossed Luxray was because the game wouldn't let me boss Pidgey. I got kind of lucky that I hit heads. But yeah, that game was very interesting. The door looking mad interesting, bro. All the door enjoyers in chat, it's, it's crazy. I just don't understand how people like can play lists like this. Cause like I'm don't set up as much as I want to. And I play four I play probably like, three nests, three ultra ball dominion. And this person's playing none of that. And, and they're still setting up. There's a lot. There's yeah. Yeah. Definitely just disgusting. No defiance vest. Yeah, there's a lot missing here. Yeah. I, I just got ahead on prize cards. I put you in kind of weird spot where like. I thought about going in with the with, with the flame surge there, but you had too many pennies. <laughs> yeah, the daisy phone goes pretty hard. Mantine though, Mantine clutch, born ashore. Crazy good. We didn't play Equinghorn pre-rotation, so let's play the worst version of a post-rotation. 
Let's go. <laughs> yeah. It, this ain't it. I priced two pal pads. I had to go aggressive. And also, I don't think... I think going aggressive is not bad in that matchup anyway. But I did sort of necessarily have to take prizes because I had two pal pads down. But also just like opening up a potential other win condition to like open with or to win with prize cards does seem kind of good. But yes, hopefully this uh, CPAL gamer gets the gets the dub and we can have a, a nice uh, CPAL matchup in. In finals yeah that i guess yeah that's more snorlax pgr right <laughs> they're they're still like doing the stall stuff like i'm gonna throw six snorlaxes at you kind of yeah the thing is though like you radzard me but like if you activate my radzard that I could win the. It was very strange. Like, um, yeah, it was very strange. You could have radzarded my cloth one turn. I think you should have. Yeah, this deck is is kind of messy, but there's six oh one. What did they be actually? Let's let's take a look at that. So like <laughs> a ton of a ton of jank. Like Lost Box Charizard, 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 Future Box, two mirror matches, Lugia and Ancient Box. Yeah, I'd say that you probably could do that. Lugia's the only kind of sus one, but like Yeah, nothing. Nothing super difficult. Also C Power versus Raging Bolt, like we're still at a new deck. Definitely Chen Pao. Five times over, over over the weekends. All right, Lax goes hard. <laughs> but like, I still don't want to play Lax. I might have to. We'll see. But I, I'm I'm holding out hope that I don't have to play Lax. All right. Once again, chat. Questions, do them now, not during finals, please. <laughs> Any questions about the list, do, do it now, not during finals. I'm not out here trying to uh, throw, throw finals again. Dang, I was like kind of on the fence about cloth, like whether I wanted to keep it in there or not, but like cloth's kind of good. All right, would I recommend taking this to the regional? I'm heavily considering this for Orlando, so yes. Game plan versus Lost Tina. I mean, Luxury is pretty good. Uh, Miss Synergy Wigglytuff is really hard for them to deal with. Um, Like, yeah, putting your Defiance Fest on the Pidgeot, even Misting Pidgeot might not be a bad move. I haven't played that much of a time. I probably should play it more, but like, it's hard for them to keep their resources throughout the game. Because, um, like, we we can re remove threats by Radzard. We can, like, also um, Airy and Sisters and potentially even, like, Retreat Lockers get a Tina stuck. Uh, but, like, if they're playing Tomb, that's kind of weird. Like, a lot of Tinas are playing Tomb lately. Even Cloth could be kind of good. Like, Cloth with Cape. It would, like, force out the Iron Leaves. But maybe, like, it comes to a point in the game where you, like, Cloth with Kate, force out the leaves and then Radzard plus Iono and try to work a comeback. Uh, cloth is mainly for Lugia, Zard, and um, can be good against Ark and Tina. Why oh, we don't play Grabomidal? Because it's not legal anymore. <laughs> I think the energy card is very good. I know one of the games that my opponent just played really badly and I shouldn't have been in the game in the first place, but like they played so greedy that like Zard became a win con. I mean, I'm not opposed to Zard. I'm not opposed to Lax. 
but like yeah i don't know how i'm fitting it i am going to orlando Zubat just doesn't do enough like it's okay but like how much does hand knowledge really get you when you're not playing a ton of ways to interact with your, like not playing erica's only one airy one luxray like already a ton of value out of it is that a Kalefa? it is because opening this and searching for an arvin is pretty good like in any matchup like i'm if i open jigglypuff energy like i can search arvin And like putting them to sleep is kind of like it's all right, but oh, if I'm relying on putting them to sleep, buying me time, then like that's pretty bad. Hey, nice. I went at EIC and watching in London at 5 a.m. That's that's goaded. I right, still not still not there yet. Clef is pretty good, especially with Lost Boxes playing Tomb. And it just opens up like Arvin, like just lone Arvin in your hand being Pidgey and card draw. Not that that, Jigglypuff's optimal. <laughs> it's optimal Jigglypuff and happens to be shiny, so like, it just works. I mean, you could cut space for like Cleffa, res like Cleffa Rescue Board for Ultra Ball Snorlax. But I do expect Spirit Tomb to have like some kind of re representation. So having a little protection against that, as well as also just make, giving myself more good hands, just more super playable hands. Because there will be times where just Clef is better than Rotom. Uh, so. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what Sander is going to cook up. I'm excited to see. I don't know if he's actually going, but like, yeah, <laughs> I, I hope, I hope he's got some sauce. I mean, I guess sh it being more all known is kind of a, it's kind of a negative, but like also, I don't know like how great the, I think that the surpri like, surprise factor doesn't matter, but also I don't know how much it actually really does that because you still have like really good concrete stuff like your, your your game plans are still pretty solid into most everything and while being surprising and having stuff your opponent doesn't expect is good and maybe helps steal you wins that you normally wouldn't like i don't it's not like something that we're like factoring in like my opponent not knowing how to play around wigglytuff no because i want to be able to go puff in plus board and get left a pidgey um and be able to retreat the active yeah, if they're by 65 cards, we're we are chilling. Yeah, you, you can't really tech for this deck. Like, he, like Spirit Zoom is probably the best you can do. Like Spirit Zoom, Airy, Diva, like they try. But like they're not perfect. The block we just play Gengar and we just win. <laughs> right, let's see finals. No, not quite. Diva plus Lecky. Who's playing that for bird control though? I mean, if you face like the random person who's playing Diva Lecky, then you just shake their hand and say congrats. Like, especially a massive tournament like Orlando, like, can, can like bird control specifically is going to be like probably around five percent, if even that high. <laughs> So playing Devo Lecky just seems really bad. GG easy. Yeah, not, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Yeah, I'd really like to have 65 cards because I would go. Tomb plus Yakumo burns my plans down. Yakumo doesn't do a ton. <laughs> Also, like, what deck aside from stall slash control is playing Yakumo? Yo, you're playing Drago to Orlando because of me? That's wild. Yeah, 5% at most. Like, may did I say maybe 5%? Like, yeah. There's no way that it's, it's a big percentage at all is the point I'm trying to say. 
Sandra might be a good tech. All right, I'll go attach double turbo energy to my Pidgeot EX. I'll quick search for a counter catcher, counter catcher for Sandshrew, and I'll blustery win for knockout. Trying to break control, sick. <laughs> Devo lucky it is. Let's go, next round's up. Finals versus C Pow. All right. Let's get it. All right, chat. I need all the uh, wonderful emoji spam in chat right now just for the bonus plot armor. It, it all helps. It all helps get get dubs. We need the emoji spam for the uh, 10 and 0 run. So I won't ban you. I won't mute you. Just spam as much as you can. What if I win percentage into Chen Pao? It's really good. I've all, I literally only lose to C Pao when, when I break. Let's go. You, you love to see it. <laughs> hey, I, I'll do my best to get on stream. But if I get on stream, the sauce will be out. But honestly, like if someone knows who I am and knows what I play, they'll like know what I'm doing before they even sit across from me. So, yeah. But how many people know my IRL name and you know? Like, oh yeah, we're up against him. He's playing bird. That's that's kind of good. Yeah, we're like wiggle like if there's enough crazy stuff in the deck, like like Wigglytuff and Cloth, I'm sure they'd be like, Yeah, let's let's put this on there. Setting so second is far versus Chimpo. It can be. <laughs> Remember mentioning it once and you forgot it? See, that's how. How relevant my IRL name is. I'll just be on stream. Those have all out Blitzel on the stream graphic. It's fine. Pocket best of three. Yes. I want to see if they have any Ionas in this deck. Cause I can just kind of chill. There's it's just double cipher maniac. This has been the happiest draw pass of my life. <laughs> I've never been happier to just draw a pass. My real name is Secret? No. Celia with things my deck can win Orlando. Hey, that's pretty sick. We're going aggro wiggly tough is always the move. No, my name's not Secret. It's just like I haven't played IRL in since NAIC. I haven't played an IRL major since NAIC. So like, <laughs> not like I got a long, limitless page of accomplishments. But they did just bench the doof, so like, we can cook. Yeah, we got like we threaten the Wiggly stuff, and then they bench the the doof. So this, this this ultra ball is very awkward. I'm not a fan of this ultra ball. <laughs> I love this deck. I love Pokemon. I really like um Bang Snipe here. Like we could do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this this is pretty good. <laughs> oh, I got a top cut Orlando. We'll see, we'll see. I think it could have been the candy. Like, why not setting up two birds here? But it's okay. This could get punished really bad if they somehow have like KO plus Prime and all that sauce. But like if I'm bang setting a card away, how likely do you have that? Like this. Yeah, this just seems seems great for us. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we uh, get rid of that one. What do you think? Or we could do Ultra Ball. That's a lot more cards. Now it's harder for them to refine candy. Like, is it though? This is. This shouldn't be that hard. All right, fine. Cause like if they wanted to, they could like bib for four. But by discarding some candies, like we also could just have Brad's art knock out there if something else different happens. I don't know. They, they top like the doof. Point three bit of tube barrel. Was there a stream side bit tournament? Oh that just sucks. <laughs> We're not um not putting a delay on stream for a just because there's bad actors out there we're just gonna <laughs> i haven't like knowingly had anyone stream snipe me though which i guess is fine they have, they have the, the candy box man's kind of dead now though what if this nuke me man i have to be kind of cracked to nuke me um Like, has you back playing it? That's sick. That is sick. If they bundle, we just give them Puff, and then we probably Pidgeot for Iono and just refill the hands. Even Tech for Bird Mirror? Like, it could, I guess. Like, Devo would be pretty good. Sandshrew. Um. It's four. Wait, what? Huh. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think we just, I don't know. Like, I don't care if Luxray goes down. Like, re reset the hands. Have to get them to draw into their own Prime Catcher. I like benching Cleffa so Bundle just doesn't make me sad. But I'm gonna hold the DT. I don't want him to like see the uh, Jigglypuff KO here coming. Well, that's a few good cards. What is SER? What does that even matter? Um, uh, might just be like. He the ear doesn't really matter. It probably have to do the SCR then. None of it really matters that much though. Yeah, this is first game of finals. I gave him six good cards, but the good cards aren't good cards. It's kind of weird. Well, they're they're in a strict like if they pop, pop bundled to give themselves a bench spot to bench on their fridge backs, they only take one prize. And if they leave just the backs caliber in play. Wigglytuff knocks this thing out next turn, and they're kind of cooked. Like, they're down two candies, so, like, Wigglytuff just, like, wins the game. Cypher Maniac. That could be Prime plus, um, it's S.E.R. They did that before Shivery Chill, though. Yeah, I don't know why they... <laughs> I don't know why they secrets it that way, but, okay. Let's see what's that define so that's for it's just good to make it so it's like you can stick on pidgeot so like tina do doesn't one hit it like a ninja for three i guess they could yeah they can yeah they can so yes Oh, banned to give Radzard and yeah, to give Radzard more damage. All right. Well, they have that. They had the Moonlight. I wasn't necessarily in the prizes. Yeah, this is kind of bad. Yes, they could definitely grenade me. Okay. 
Okay. And then what? So yeah, I think it's fine though. I'm pretty sure we're still fine. Yeah, they're going for it. It looks like this is a pretty big. This is a pretty heavy energy commit. Yeah, they should KO KO. Um, we know they're holding a rod as well. I mean, Eerie could be pretty good. Um, now nah, the the col they, they, they probably want to save it for when I go bib, or when I drag up the bib. I mean, all right, let's pull up the Cleffa. Like, this thing is still sitting right there on the board for me. Not another counter catch. I could just go cape and just like we could just go mawile here mawile the iron bundle yeah yeah we cape the a big bird we can get the defiance vest on the on the what's yes this thing do this this all right broken So they would need seven energies to KO that. Need, yeah, at least one of the remaining SERs. And then if they do that, like they go, they go Prime Pitcher kill on Pidgeot, I can just drag back up the Iron Bundle. First take replay the 3C3. Oh, like the, the old one from Fire Leaf Green. Her saloon is going to be cracked. This is probably um, Prime plus SER. Okay. Let's see what they get. Yeah. But but then bundle is still on the board. Oh, there's bundle because it can't be activated from the active spot. So, I would I would not have dragged up the bundle if it couldn't knock itself out. But yeah, there's the prime catcher. They're gonna go for the KO on my Pidgeot. Um. So. That's slightly scary. They will be down a ton of like almost all their energy recovery. But we uh we have to perfectly penny loop for the rest of the game here. Prime catcher. Alright. Well. We do have like Rad's KO here, which could potentially be an option as well. Oh. I should be. Oh, they didn't super rod first. Did they misplay? I guess they probably have energies in hand, right? Unless they're like, a, like they're two prized. But they'd have to have what three in hand? Or no, only only two, but still. That's not true though, because they have canceling clones. So Laxus loses the game. So yeah, <laughs> Lax would be much worse than Mawile. Loading up the Chen Pao. Have seven. All right. Well. Still have a rod and an SER left. Two rods and an SER, I mean. Hmm.
All right, let's let's spin. Uh, let's say lean here, and then we can spin stop. That lean's fake. I hate spinning stop, but like, what other options do we have? All right, that's pretty good. The wind con might be spreading all their energies. I just shuffle like another bear. I was thinking that maybe we could like trap the Bidoof and that thing can't damage us. We still have all of our pennies, right? Like, I guess technically they can still get back all nine energies. Why not just trap Doof? Because if they evolve it, it loses the retreat lock. So it would just get evolved, get SER, get, um, yeah. Double button Poffin. Yerda. I guess the thing is, superior, should I have drags up the barrel ever, I wonder? I don't know, this is like, Got kind of punished for that Lux, like leaving the Lux. Um, that was, yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay. Why not Bib? Because that thing could, could potentially two hit. This thing's guaranteed to two hit. But we probably go Ultra Ball for Luminion for Boss, drag up a Barrel, Tempting Trap. We might just need them to, we might, yeah, we might just have to get lucky. So, we get this thing. We could get Penny, then we could, um, no, we can't Luminion for Counter catcher because the other one's prized. But yeah, I think our 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 wink. But also, how are we winning the game like this? It has to be Iono, I think. And we have to like reestablish. Yeah, we have yeah we have to get reestablished. Touching Pearls and Auto Win? Well, I kind of messed up. Normally it is, yes. Alright. Doing pretty well off that thing. <laughs> off of the Iono. But I would like to get the uh, the bird reestablished somehow. But both PGs are down, so we need to find Super. We need to find Candy. Like I kind of want to rip Pokestop so we can like get closer to that, but then like also, um, also if we do that, so we could mill pennies, which would really suck. It's most certainly an all-out throwing moment. I guess rads are like a uh, potential rads art angle could open up here as well. I, I know, I guess it always gets knocked up by refrigerated stream. Dang. Yeah, we're in pretty awkward spots. Yeah, they're just going to draw refrigerated. boss um okay let's drop a penny back on top yes yes all right okay <laughs> now we're kind of cooking 
Because this can be this and this. Like, if we can get Pidgeot reestablished, I think we we win. Um. No, there's we're, like the, all all the finals games will just be back to back to back. And after finals, the stream's over. So now we penny. Now we reestablish Pidgey. Hold up, chat. It's no, we're, it's not over yet. Yeah, and I can't ever gust around this bundle because then it discards itself and that like sucks. So Yeah, the the Kleffa as the pivot here is insane. Like I would not win this game without Kleffa. We'd not be in this game without Kleffa. Y'all uh <laughs> y'all who doubted Kleffa are not looking up. Yeah, it's it's, it's alright, it's alright. Now we get the Pidgeot reestablished, and this is fine. Like we had pal, we have one pal pad. Still should have a penny. It's gonna be sketch. We definitely can still get there. Yeah, prizing a penny and a pal pad's a little sus. But the bird's about to be back. And I guess we could like could potentially build a board state where like KO backs is the move. And we try to like Razor come back maybe. Or no, the Razor got ult by the way. That's not happening. I would kind of like like area area away like some, some super odds and drag up the barrel. I'm trying for the comeback of the century. Now we have to quick search Silene gets pal pads back. Silene. Yes. All right. So pal pad goes back on top. Attempts. Then we palped back in Silene Penny. This is why double Silene's pretty good. <laughs> Make sure we palped first. Boss. No boss. Silene Penny. Grab the penny. Do this and this and this and this. Just need to do this for eleven more turns, chat. We can do it. All right, anyways, last energy shield options and could you have to carry everything? Cause that is kind of risky. Um, so they only technically need three energies to win the game. That is a potential option. Like that could. And also, there's like this now. Like, what if we airy this turn? The next turn, we want boss KO. What do we honestly? What what we have in here? We're gonna have a tool card. Yes, yeah, so we just lose to Iron Bundle. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. We still the Forest Seals, then it's fine. Okay. Yeah, there's still a pal pad in deck. Just 
So that yeah, that wouldn't really work. Top deck the palpat as well. We have to go Silene and hope that Silene doesn't double tails on us. Yeah, do we just like do we ever like try to go for a rod start angle? I mean, Blustery Winds could just be our last resort as well. Like, Silene doesn't cooperate. So, we have to go Airy plus Blustery and hope that they just don't have enough energies left. Like, if we mill double Super Rod, that would do it. Well, no, they still have three basic waters left. So, that wouldn't really work. We have to get him to commit to the barrel, but how do we do that? All right, this is massive. Like, double heads would make us, like, pretty comfortable in this game. One heads, one tails. We're still alive. <laughs> For now. No team yell. Your team yell would be pretty clutch right now. Hey, no problem, Jimmy. I, I hope whatever... Whatever is happening in your life gets better. <laughs> the counter deck? No, the last one's prized. Gosh, this is so stressful. Nope, just double Silene. So we're... We're living and dying by every Silene flip. This is it's gonna be close. I wonder is option for Wiggly KO? I mean there could be. We have we, we have a couple different options if Silene decides to go rogue. We're not factoring that in. We're gonna get double heads here and we're gonna win the game. I told you. I told you. It was never in doubt. It literally was never in doubt. Silene is goaded. Silene's the best card ever. No, I don't, I don't like boss bib could be two turns um, to win the game. This is fine. Like I can penny loop at this pace, but boss bib is kind of stressful. <laughs> I did put that rod but they didn't put back an energies which is kind of interesting that was just pokemon all right let's make sure we we pal pad we don't have to think about that we just have to think that it was double heads so that 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 worked Penny Loop being so tedious on live. <laughs> it's so much easier IRL because I can just take the damage off my Pokemon and shortcut it. <laughs> Gotta love PTCGL. Goaded clients. I play an Irida. I do kind of like the idea of trying to use Wigglytuff. But yeah, I do kind of like that idea to try to win this game a little faster or could get them to potentially drop energies, which could also help us win. You dump a lightning energy, but hold up. Um, okay. So now there's one water they just can never get back. Or two waters they can just never get back. 
Wow. So they only have... I think we still Silene. Alright, tickets. I don't think we need to risk it with the with the wiggly tough. Um but it like it could be good though. Like what how do they respond if I just KO backs? Yeah, I don't understand what they're doing at all, Richard. I, I don't get it either. Okay, Silene. Penny. Can they even beat Wigglytuff now though? Like that's that's kinda of what what I what I'm wondering. I don't think they really can or probably could. Cause this there isn't a, there is risk to this game, to this this thing, right? Okay. All right, gaming. So we. We can like retreat boss KO this and then they have to rebuild the box and, we, and then we can airy candy away the, the following turn. So are we, are we even could just airy away candy this turn, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, this is. This is good. Yep, that should do it. So now we hard retreats, attach, boss KO backs. There's no backs left for the rest of this game. Um, and so then we can just close up the game with, with Radiant Charizard or whatever. Or just bossing a bib becomes like boss bib into Chiyu. I think we get. We grab the. Uh, And friend tackle. And now we're cooking. Sisters up the prizes goes mildly hard. So they could flip back up bundle and refrigerated stream, but if they do that, we share enough to tough and just KO bundle. Aren't they attacking? Because it's bad if they attach. Because then I can potentially maul while and pull something up and trap it. So now I'm pretty sure we win. Because we can share enough the tough, take this KO. And then they don't have any they don't have any gusts left. And would only have like three waters left. And they can't like super add back bundle and do that again as well. Like that's just not an option. I don't even need to a quick search for anything. Don't need to rebench the tough at all. Yeah, and then next turn we can just Radzard KOC pow. Yeah, we we have this one. Because they kind of can only they really only can send up C pow. 
Otherwise, you just have to spend a manual retreat or maw while could stick it. And they only have three total energies left as well, so they just like want to try a Greninja. Um, that doesn't really work. Yeah, I, I think you can just go Razor, kill whatever they attach to. We can maw while and trap whatever they put energy on, or do, do not put energy on. We can Chi you and win in two turns. Like now they have, they play nine total energy. They have two left. So. Radzard is kind of like, there's, yeah, there's no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick search boss, boss the bib, mill. Alright. We need some paid axe allegations, what for? <laughs> I'd like to shout out um, whoever said uh, Chimpao was not an auto win. Yeah, we would have definitely run out of time. Which is a little scary because, like, yeah, we've... There's 18 minutes left. <laughs> Sheesh. So it's going to be, like, I don't ever win a game three. <laughs> Which is kind of... Yeah, that was, like, a 37-minute game. All right, <laughs> we take those. We take those. So yes, this is this is good. They want first. Sounds sounds about right. I can't believe we came back from that. Were the time rules in top cuts? I um. I assume it's just like, just like IRL top cut, but I don't know. I can't believe we came back from that. Like that double heads on the, like the multiple double heads off Silene. They want first. I don't know if I, I assume I can. I'm not going to try to slow play into it though either, but it's going to be hard for me to finish my win condition in 17 minutes. This opening hand is nasty. This is crazy good. Yeah, I, I assume it, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll request a judge, or should I? They open dupe. Okay. It's like I might. I might not be able to. Finish in 17 minutes, but I can certainly just penny loop. <laughs> I can boss bib and penny loop. Um, yeah, we'll see what's what what they get done. Yeah, that would be that that that'd be cool, King. Cause like I'm not I'm not slow playing or anything, but also I. Um. Because if like at least prizes, I could theoretically take prizes. Like I, I could go first game three and just try to go like blustery win to take a prize. They don't always do plus three turns online. All right, fighting energy, we pop in. Just the Pidgey. Did prize the other, but we have the heavy ball, right? Oh no, we didn't, we didn't. Brody's in there. Uh, all right, pretty good. So now we get nest ball for our yeah we get nest ball that seems pretty good Ooh. Uh, i'm gonna attach the forests 
I guess we technically don't have to because there's no gust. So like, we have to touch the bravery charm. I mean, it's instance. I make about fighting on active as well, but it's fine. Um, yeah, there's the, the, like one out victories count, and also, yeah, what are the game three time rules would be nice to know. Like, is it, I, I, is, is it just going to play until there's a winner? Is it going to play until, is it going to play until the time is called in prize cards? And is a one out victory possible? Any backs? All right. Yeah, they're, they're making a point to get two backs calibers up this time, which makes a ton of sense. All right. But they're like lack or they pokies up out the water, right? So yeah, plus three turns would also be good to know. Last ball for CPAL, I assume. Roads or uh, Iron Bundle would also be a little annoying here. If they had like Iron Bundle plus KO Rotom. Cast him, thank you, King. I got a CPAL down. We know one of the cards in the hand is Canceling Cologne. They had an Earthen Vessel as well. They do have Knockout on this Mimikyu. Hopefully they do. Yes, the attach retreat, shivery, cologne. Okay. But we do get the uh, Pidgey set up. Potentially could could go Fang Snipe. Next, yeah, we, we we could go Fang Snipe next turn. We could go like vacuum the vacuum the, the charm off, put cape on. So it's really hard to knock the, uh, that thing out. But oh, they can seal the lightning in that hard retreat. Wow. I mean, going for a ninja play. Wait, do they actually have three energies in hand to do that? Or maybe they have an SER? Well, they mainly attach, so they couldn't SER and get there. I don't think that. Did they not. Did they use super cold? I'm pretty sure they mainly attached that, that water. You'll stay for the historical moment. All right, they pitched Rod and Cologne. But do they have another water in hand? Am I tripping or did they mainly attach that water to the Bidoof? If so, that'd be a massive misplay. But okay, they do have another water in hand. So, K Mimikyu. Put 90 on the Pidgey. Why don't they use hands? It's just not a very energy efficient attacker in this matchup. I do want to just fang snipe now. I don't know if fang snipe would go pretty hard. Can I get there? Nest ball is luxury. I couldn't actually. But I could still just like Cape Lux Fang Snipe a card out. Cause I also could rip Pokestop as well and try to hit one of the pieces. Well, it would really just be Counter Catcher, I guess. Be worth a try, I don't know. So I still feel like Fang Snipe's pretty pretty solid. You got Kate Fang Snipe. We could have rip stop like to start the turn. That might have been the move. Alright. 
Their hand's garbage. Okay. I mean, they have concealed cards. That's two SERs. And they kind of like want to like retreat and chill first before concealed. But if they do that, then they lock themselves at like a prime catcher KO on, on Pidgeot. All right. Because then if they just keep chilling, we could counter catcher up the backs, start sistering out things. They attach to active. They're going to shuriken again. They top decked another water. They have KO if they want it, actually. Some odd sequencing by my opponent. I'm kind of confused. Doesn't mean like shurikens. But they held the, the superior energy retrieval. That they they could not do that. <laughs> All right. Well. Now they're gonna be down three SERs. Like I just could counter catch your sisters slide. They at least pop the SER and get the energies. Like I'm gonna bench the Radzard so Iron Bundle can't just farm us. I'll even attach to the Radiant Star so we can have that nuke option if, if, if we need it. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, at least just burn it. Um. Yeah, at least just burn it for the three energies or whatever. Like, <laughs> make me do something else. Because now they have to go Ultra Bib. And we can win with... The other thing, right? We, we we can win with with Mawile potentially, and they only like have one SER two rods, so like even getting a big KO might be kind of hard for them. They have to spend two energies to retrieve this box. There's a rod. The one thing that's kind of sketch is we don't have. Like the Mawile played lined up very well. Rodon's been used. Um, is that Rod getting some energies back in? But both vessels are gone, so they have to like actually get back into the Sea Pow. My play next turn might just be Iona just to get a hand refresh. I, mean, I would be in sort of a tough spot if they went. They're not throwing back in energy again. Why? I guess they're an SER then? Like they must have the fourth SER. But so why throw back in the Pokemon? Put it on the Iron Hands, like y'all been asking. Oh, are they, they going to amp the Pidgeots? They probably have that. That is. They have, they have prime. They have prime plus the other thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that would be terrifying if they do. But no, they failed the old triple. Now they can't have it. I'm very, very confused what my opponent's trying to do. It is past turn. All I want to do is just build towards Mawile. So like, I just sort of want to Iono and just get a just get a fresh hand, and maybe get them to draw an SCR because like, they didn't have SCR or Prime. So let's make them draw it. We drew another catcher, which is really good. And boss. 
that'll do it. Now they just have seven total energies for the rest of the game. And they can't gust. Yeah, Mawile Ma Ma wins now. Like Mawile of uh, Bib. And there's only four minutes left on the clock anyway. Is that SCR? Well, they have to commit two to, to the retreats. Yeah, they basically just like no energies left. Like seven total for this game. Actually, one less than that because everyone's strained on Ninja. Now hands get stuck. Point two years in the making. <laughs> Let's go. We're loading up for the Buster Tail. Sounds fine to me. We just penny up, quick search for the for the Mawile, and we can spread all the energies out. Wait, are we priced heavy oil and Mawile? That's tragic. Why didn't y'all tell me that? Oh well. I'm. Yeah, this is still fine. They have to put their four remaining energies here. And then we just win the game when they do that. All right. I'll take the counter catcher, I guess. That is, yeah, we did not drop a game. Kind of cracked. They, well, I guess technically they can. They, they have enough energy to, to hard retreats. Is there any way? Like, do they have any way out of this? I don't think they do. I guess we can just like. No, we already have like the the luxury. I can't. The, leaving it is not optional. How many, charges, how many times did Charizard do something? A lot. Charizard was a very clutch. Take the candy. Nah, probably the Irida. Like, I don't care if they get another back set up. Yeah, it's it, it's, it's not optional. Like, otherwise I definitely would have. But it's discard, like, real hand discard, so. And yeah, now we just go sisters and... Almost to the point where a Chiyu deck out wins the game. And if the, I guess if the Super Rod in the deck, we uh, hit it here. Super Rod's priced anyway. Yeah, and they prized one Water Energy, so they can't even move this Iron Hand. This Iron Hand's just stuck. We, we saw one water in the deck with sisters, two in the hand with 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 the fang snipe. So we we just cheat you and win. They go for the concealer cards. <laughs> nice. I really enjoy the chimp pal matchup, especially when they don't play Iono, because I can just do whatever I want. That game one was insane. I cannot believe that we won that. I'm I'm super happy we had that recorded and on record, so. Um Yeah. <laughs> that it's that it's on the internet. <laughs> Cause that was crazy. What a run. Broken deck. 
Sheesh. I like control. Trolls control is pretty good. We might have been timed out anyway. I don't know. Yeah, it technically was timed out. Sheesh. <laughs> That's crazy. That is absolutely wild. I cannot believe that we actually did it. This this deck is really good. Like, yeah, this deck is insanely good. We could put that game on the on the uh, second channel. That that might be a uh, fitting. But yeah, I really really like this list. I'm probably playing a very close sixty to this, if not this sixty for Orlando. We'll see where I end up. Um. Yeah, so apparently people can be nice to control players. It's 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 kind of crazy, but I I really like every card in this deck. Like Cleffa was super good. I don't think I would cut Cleffa now. Cleffa was really really good um <laughs> hey jeff most people who play the deck won't know what what they're doing so it's fine i'm glad we finally got a dub though like i was getting kind of frustrated with those like poor draws slash bad matchups um in in, in in cut and big games but finally broke through um, yeah, I'm not taking Clef out. Clef was super good. It's just like the right, like the right combo of attackers. Yeah. Any any final questions on the list, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. It's just 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 now midnight here in the Midwestern United States. So it is uh it's past my my uh, bedtime. Yeah, we we lose game one by a lot of young Clef. And we also just don't have like, don't have those draws, don't have, yeah. Arvin for Poffin for Clef and Pidgey is correct. You don't need to play Eric because we're not winning by Retreat Lock that that, that, that often. We're just going bad bedtime for those tournaments. For sure. Hey, well also we didn't, like the, the future we faced, it wasn't relevant. We didn't face any LZB. Um, I like that this is Rad Radzard plus his cheat on the weekly tough counts. I'm gonna try to get an updated guide out eventually. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get around to it because I'm like I'm not 100% finished messing with my list, and I want the list I put out in the video not to get changed at all. Alvin does like brick. I went. I did not drop a game today, so. Can't break that much. Why Luminous? Why, why, why more Ultras? I want Ultra Ball to find my Pokemon turn one, to find Pidgeot would be tough turn two. Also searches out Luminion. So basically those four cards are Arvin. Um, Rescue Board is basically, so we have an Arvin out to, a, a tool card out to getting Cleffa active. Um, Defiance Band, so our Radiant Charizard can reach 280, one shot RSTS, one shot Giratina. Um, and the luminous is like it's fire energy it's also can be a psychic energy which could be kind of good to maybe to, to maybe ghost type but it probably could be a second fire if you wanted yeah i we like from the list that we ran on sunday we took out the bouffalon the riz a dte an ultra ball and Artisan, so was the Wigglytuff. And we put in Cleffa, Rodzard, um, Luminous, Rescue Board, and the Lost Vacuum. And I definitely prefer this one to the one that we, we have played on Sunday. Best April Fool's joke ever. Yep, it was all fake. When am I streaming again? Uh, should be Wednesday nights for the late night tournaments. If it's, I think it's not one scheduled on Wednesday. So maybe not because of UIC. Um, so it might not be till Thursday again, but like, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if late is just not scheduled yet or there's not having it this week. Now I have stuff to do tomorrow night, so I can't do it, but it's fine. Uh, 
how often do I do, do, do how often do I use Wiggly? It's good against um it's good against future hands, good against C Pow, Lugia, Lost Box, other Lost Box, uh, Arctina, Ancients. This is a really good card. I am going to Orlando. I hope I make it onto an, an, an LDF uh, thumbnail. That'd be a, a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. Any final questions? If not, I'm going to call it a night here, guys. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep streaming this deck because like it, it keeps working. Um, and I guess a lot of people like watching it too. So I'm going to keep playing it. Um, I don't, Team Devo is not really necessary because we already beat Sardens in a uh, CPAL. <laughs> Are you going to send him this? Nice, let's go. Make it, makes it LDF thumbnail with Drago. You can do it. Um, the Lost Vacuum definitely feels worth it and it's just one fire energy. And it, no problems trading, I just, <laughs> I hope that by watching these streams y'all can it helps it helps you guys understand this deck better because it's like definitely a, a mess i mean i didn't really miss the consistency like if you look at it overall like when i added poth in so i cut an ultra ball cut an arms i'm still i'm only down one pokemon search card overall from from the like list from like a week ago what would be my second pick for my deck i have no clue probably some sort of comfy deck probably lost box because um, Vac is 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 better against Future. It's better against Charizard. Like we have to get rid of, get rid of their Max Spell, and then Cloth just sweeps. Like Zard has no answer to Cloth. Like even if they do Tech and play Lost City, play Turo, all that jank, they still always lose to Cloth. So the vacuum definitely felt worth it. Like that was something that kind of felt annoying when, when the Zards had like a bunch of switch outs. And they would also have the, the like the max belt vacuum to kill your your cloth. Um, so yeah, I like the vacuum. Cleffa was insane. Like I'm not I'm not cutting Cleffa. And it wasn't even like we didn't ever use it for like its main use of just like blocking tomb. It was it was just good in other situations, which is kind of funny. Um yeah, I'm gonna call it night here, guys. I really, really appreciate you guys so much for hanging out tonight, for showing up. Like by far my biggest stream, like almost double my last most watched stream. So the growth lately has been crazy. Like I, I appreciate you guys like more than I can express. Like it's just awesome. So yeah, y'all, y'all have a great night, and I'll be live hopefully again here. Sometimes. <laughs>